Welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody, and along with my long distance bestie Amanda, we live to break down all the things we love to hate. Each week, we scour TV, TikTok, and pop culture and deliver you our unfiltered, snarky takes on everything. Take a moment to subscribe on YouTube so you catch all our live streams and shows, and follow the links in the banner to subscribe to our free weekly podcast and two Patreon shows, We Love to Hate TV and Total Request Podcast where you request the shows and we break them down. Once subscribed, you have instant access to our massive library of hundreds of past shows and recaps. We promise you'll love it. And listen, we're all friends here, so let us hear from you in the comments. We love getting to know you and we hope you enjoy the show. All right, let's go. Greetings, fellow haters. You are about to embark on one of the spookiest and most bone-chilling three hours of your earthly life. Be forewarned, there will be disgusting images, jump scares, and things that go bump in the night. This episode is not for the faint of heart. So put your children to bed early, and don't answer the phone. The call is coming from inside the house, and you are now at our mercy. Buckle in, and welcome to We Love to Hate Everything, with your hosts, Jody, the Contrarian, Huff, and Amanada. The IBS queen, Kaczynski. And we're back. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we are not showing our faces yet. We're not no, showing not our yet. costumes. I'm dying. Jody <laughs> the Contrarian Hoff. That's legally yeah. my name from now on. It is. <laughs> That was the acting, the acting, the, the most co committed I think I've ever been to an acting performance in my entire life. That was, was you. Like, oh my God. That was me. Oh, I'm crying. That is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was maybe the most like stoned I've ever been. Uh, <laughs> but it flowed out of me like, like molasses just stripping mm. out of my mouth. Flowed out uh, of you like a Brown family mission statement. Right. <laughs> So here right. we are. Welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I am Amanada. And people uh, were asking what that name came from. Look, the, uh, Aurora is in charge of my sister wife's closet. That's correct. Jean, our correspondent, sent us jewelry from my sister wife's closet. And it's not my fault that Aurora sent me an envelope with my name written on it, spelled Amanada. That's it's not right. my fault that Robin's kids are idiots. So that's my name now. Um, yep. happy Halloween to everybody. Happy All Hallows Eve. Now we, we are in costume. We have not seen each other. We're, we're no, we have not. I have no idea what Jody's going to be. Okay. I'm, I'm dying to see your, well, we all know that you're vagina daddy. That would be Robin's right. step daddy. We're going to change, we're going to change our names on the screen, but I, I, I have a problem with anyone just randomly tuning in and just my hmm. name three hours saying vagina daddy. So I'm going to say, I'm going to put it as splash, splash zone daddy. Oh, I like that. I like gonna, that. Yeah, yeah. That's more that's PG, great. right? But right. you're going to go first. So. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. I'm nervous now. Okay. I have to, I have to like get myself. Um, okay. Okay. This requires a couple hands. All right. I hope this is all right. Okay. And three, two, one. I'm salsa brava. I love it. Okay. And I have um, I have my my hot water and my lemons. Mm, so how did yummy. you think of this? Tell me. And, and I well, because salsa brava is oh, the like most famous character in this season, right? Sex in the city, where the city is the fifth character. Salsa brava right. is the sixth right. character as well. Yeah, I might need to back my camera up a la Janelle so you can really get the whole 
picture. Um, All right. I need to know yeah. like the whole essence of everything well, that came into the, this costume. The logo is original. Okay. This is um, Paige. We looked it up. Oh. Salsa Brava Flagstaff. Love it. Um, yep. Right. Authentic. That's right. Um, I tried to find like a nacho hat, but it just didn't fit the bill. And I felt like this was like a little, like I could put it akimbo and have like a little Napoleon sort of thing, which is very right. Cody. Um, I thought my, it's my Googie Bear mug, but I thought like the colors would go well. And then obviously the lemon juice, right? Obviously. Now I know everyone's thinking like, okay, it's gotta be fresh lemons, right? But hmm. I feel like Cody should take these to go. How easy. Throw it in your bag. You don't even have to ask for all the well, extra lemons. You just squeeze it in. And then, as you know, some hot chocolate. So yummy. So you should cool. have marshmallows on the side. It's a specialty. Oh, that's right. Um, now, I did. I was going to try to um, put nachos on my my hat. But the it turns of out. that chubby girl eating those nachos. Yeah. To say the least. Um, and then, uh, but painter's tape, which is what I have, doesn't make me sick. Now, I, I'm so glad some of you caught this because there's a little nuance. I do have a broom. I have a broom! <laughs> I do have a broom behind me. A Kimbo! I do have a broom akimbo. So, there we go. I am um, the, the, the fifth... so perfect! I'm the fifth wife of Sister Wives this year. I am... The one and only, oh. the salsa brava. Well, I okay. guess something totally different. Don't say what it is because I'm going as that person next year. So lock. Oh, okay. Lock who you guessed? Loaded. Who yeah, you guessed before? Say. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love this. You went like real meta. Real, mm, yeah. Well, real meta. I'm not very good at costumes. I'm okay. I'm dying. Well, that's good. <laughs> where did you get? Wait. Where did? Wait. Where did you get that taco hat? Uh, oh, Amazon. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Oh, Jordi. All right. Um, I do feel like a little problematic wearing this. Um, no, no, you're honoring. You're honoring the Mexican I am honoring culture. the Bravo. Okay. Just like Flagstaff, I'm sure, is. Yes. All right. Yes. So for anyone who doesn't know or just tuning in, uh, Robin, uh, her stepdad, this is not even her actual dad. I don't know no. which is worse to have in your birthing room as you're giving a home birth. But her father, mm. her stepdad, um, mm -hmm. was there for both of her births on camera yep camera right there like directly and we, directly. we're not over we're not exaggerating oh, his no, we're knees gonna, we're gonna see clips of it in this episode that we're about to watch Jody. oh, god. oh thank god yeah his knees were touching the end of the bed yeah. in the splash zone camera like like touching the crowning head and we're yep. not joking um so we call him vagina daddy but we're gonna call him um, splash, splash zone daddy. Splash zone daddy. Uh, let me go ahead and change the avatar. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on. All right. I know it's gonna be so much splash. better than I'm imagining. No, no, no. You're you. Uh, you did more than I thought. I mean, I'm impressed. Splash zone daddy. I'm not a costume ready? kind of gal, but I, I'm loving this. Okay. All yes. right. Here we go. Ready? Three, yep. two, one. <laughs> God, it's so much better than I thought. <laughs> Let me just, if you don't mind, if I can just get right up in there. Wait, let me see this mustache. <laughs> oh my God. That looks really real, actually. <laughs> I feel like his his hair needs to be a little bit more act. Wait, where did you, it, it, oh, I like, where did you find an actual camera. They still make those these days? This is my mom. House. This is from my mom. These are these <laughs> suspenders are from my dad. He also gave me a pair of reading glasses, mm, but reader. they were like super prescription and I like couldn't handle it. So these are just uh, glasses that I bought last year when I thought I was going to like try to do like a Amanda wears glasses type thing. Oh, and I wore them okay. for one day and I was like, oh, this, is, this is the whole thing. I'm not doing it. Oh my so. God, the shirt and the suspenders and the undershirt I like. That's a nice touch. Yeah, I, uh, I actually have a picture of oh. what, uh, if anyone doesn't know what this person looks like, I certainly have a picture of it. Uh, where is it? And it's right here. This is what I based it on. Oh! I mean, come on now. 
Wait, is that? Wait, wait, wait. Put that up again. Oh, he kind of looks like my old orthodontist. Well, that's terrifying. Wow. You are a handsome, handsome woman today. This is amazing. I'm comfy. I feel this is the most comfy I've ever been oh, during was, the recording. I don't think he's ever been more comfortable than he was at the Oh, he was in his element. Robin's vagina. A virgin. Um, oh, Wilford Brimley, everyone's saying. I do look like oh. Wilford Brimley. Uh, uh, listen, this... Wait, hold on. Will you wait. put it up just a moment? Because I hate to say this, but I kind of feel like that photo of him looks a little like an elderly um, uh, Goldie Hawn and Kurt, Doug Kurt Douglas? Russell. 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 Yes. Doesn't he? I don't know. On the left? He's, he's just vagina daddy to me. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well. Snap, snap. Oh, oh, oh I like that. Oh, oh, don't forget to take the, the lens off. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Mistake. Oh, ooh. rookie mistake. Yeah, I don't rookie think mistake. this actually, like, I, this This has not been, this is, like, such an old camera. It, the power, it doesn't turn on. Is there film I, was gonna, in there? Uh, I don't know. I, I There's batteries <laughs> in it, but, like, I don't think it, it turns on or anything. <laughs> oh my god so that's it Dance this women where... on the internet <laughs> so i'm gonna be wearing this for the next three hours which oh, i yeah, really let sink in like yesterday i was like i'm gonna be looking like that she's single la uh, ladies and gents <laughs> anyone out there she's single uh, honey honeymoon marriage <laughs> honeymoon marriage right here honeymoon just 40 oh. years of honeymoon handsome alice I liked when you said 40, the hair kind of went. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> All, uh, yeah, oh. I, bought, I bought this wig on. It, this wig is anchored in. Like, I could, like, go on, like, a stage right now. This shit is I anchored. Should. I could flip this shit all around. Wow. You got in. that Jermac bounce back beautiful hair. Okay. Right. Let's, well. uh. Should we, shall, well, let's talk about what's coming up this week really okay. quickly. And okay. then we'll get into some hot topics. All right. All right. All right. First of all, no, follow I us on I, I'm not supposed Instagram to and... click around on photos. So. No, no, you don't have to do anything. Uh, okay. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Just search us. We love to hate pod, love to hate everything. You'll find us, like us. It helps us out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and smash that like. Just smash it. Yeah. Get more lemon in there, Jody. Um, this week yeah. on our Patreon. And uh, the first of the month is coming up. So this is the perfect time to join. Uh, we have um, Sister Wives Season 9, Episode 4, Counseling Texas Style. This is where um, uh, Christine and Cody decide to go to Texas uh, for their anniversary. And the, it's spicy. like a pirate... It's pirate themed. And the entire mm. episode, Cody is like, Arr, I'm not going to let this joke die. I'm going to beat it like a dead horse. Horse. And uh, on TRP, Romantic. we're doing an episode of uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, topical. That's right. Yeah. About bullying. Uh, it's about bullying Jody. Mm -hmm. uh, season two, episode two, The Mother of All Battles, and Will and uh, Carlton are going to help Ashley out of a bullying incident. So we'll see yeah. how that turns out. Yeah. And uh, this week on Amanda Loves to Hate Teen Mom, which is also, if you join tier two of our Patreon, or you can just join the Amanda Loves to Hate tier, which is $3. Um, Skeletons in the Closet. And this is the episode where Gary approaches Amber and he's like, do you know how many kids this guy has? Do you know how many kids? Mm. And Amber's like, she's chomping gum. She's like, yeah, two. And Gary's like, no, he has seven. And she's like, no, 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 Gary, Gary, no, no, Gary, no, Gary. This is fucked up. Thing. I am a grown woman. Uh, I love Gary. that man. I love that man. So that's what's happening. Oh, <laughs> now, um, let's really talk. Uh, uh, Jody was away at a convention this week for her job, her very professional mm -hmm. job. How was that? Mm -hmm. Um. Well, I. I've never gone to like a corporate event. There were icebreakers akimbo. Oh, I mean, we had a, a two a two truths and a lie. We had um, like a little grab bag thing with questions like, "Are you more Spotify or Apple Music?" 
I know. I know. Like conversation starters, right? Oh my God. <laughs> Your face just went I'm exa- I just, no, I just got like a wave of exhaustion. Just imagining like sitting there like, okay, it's 8.30 in the morning and this thing ends at 10 p.m. So how uh-huh. am I getting through this? Yeah. Yeah. The highlight, they had some yogurt parfaits in the morning though. Delicious. You could put as much granola as you wanted on it. Okay. Granola Cody. Mm-hmm. What else? Um, I got to see the Denver airport twice. Love it. Actually, okay, so on my uh, uh my departure from O'Hare, I I got picked to go in like the the little like spinny scan thing. There's a whole family in front of me with enough electronics to like give one to everyone in China, right? Right. And they pick me, the the whitest whitey, yeah, to get singled out to go into the little skinny spinny scan machine. You're like actual walking and vanilla it, or granola. Yeah, You're walking oh, yeah. granola bar. Um so I stand in it and this woman and a trainee pull me aside and said, uh, ma'am, it's alerting to an abnormality in your groin in your groin region. And there's like the little like a drawing cut out of the body. And it was like a yellow rectangle covered by a, a red box in front of my nether regions. So I had to go through the whole like, ma'am, back of the hands, back of the hands, back of the hands only. When I tell you to step forward, you're going to, and then I had to like do like the full scissor thing. Um, she asked me if I had like a private room and I said, no, no. Cause I feel like it would just attract more suspicion. Um, but full, full pat down between the legs one of these. And then um, I went through. So I would say that's the highlight of the trip. I got to, I, that was the biggest icebreaker that I actually experienced on the whole trip. Was the rest of it just a blur? Like, and down. like I'm interacting with people and this stuff. Yeah. I mean, like it was, it was good to see the people that I interact with every single day in person. And it's like, oh, I God, thought I three days in a you. row. 510, but really you're like 5'1, you know? And of course sure. everyone's photo is Photoshop to the hilt, you know, so right. you see them in person. But I think you're like, it, if, oh. if you and me recorded three days in a row, we'd be sick of each other by the third day. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was nonstop. Like, I'm, like I'm I really good. understand these, these work trip things after a while. Right. So, but, um, I mean, the mountains from the hotel room looks amazing. But, well, uh, you're back. You're back at least. I know it is. It's so good to be back. It's good to be back. Um, Talk Do we have an wife. old IUD you forgot about? I, I just jumped into the comments here and I don't know. Um, because of the scanner, Jody. Oh, no, nothing in there. Not a thing. Oh, God, I can't drink my, but I I, drink my water. Oh, your mustache. My mustache. I have to, I have to wow, up. that is the biggest problem that men have to face these days. Mm-hmm. You know, how do they drink? Um, the right no, but I up. do... Uh, yeah, they patted me all the way down. Uh, I think that it was because I had the seat heater on and I hopped out of the car and there was like no line. I just went right to the thing. So maybe it was like a heat thing. I don't know. I don't know. All right. So there you go. That, that that was the highlight. I know you're expecting really amazing stories from this work trip. Yeah, no, I was actually really, I mean, every episode, I did three episodes last week with guests, all amazing. Guys, check out those episodes. Yes. Everyone came yeah. to fucking play. They were great. Nick, Akira from TikTok, mm-hmm. and uh, Joan, uh, all of them, epic episodes. Amazing. And every episode, I, mean, I was like, Jody's out there. She's doing some, she's doing some uh, icebreakers. She's like, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, there was uh, a, there was um there was two young ladies that came to teach everyone how to do a few line dances at, at the cool. the big dance on the second night. I, I just did people watching, which was I mean the best thing ever. But um yeah, yeah. I remember in a fourth grade, fourth grade gym class, we did a line dancing class and we danced the line dance to she's a brick house. Oh, I don't we know. We did pink really... Cadillac. Pink oh, Cadillac. Oh, definitely pink Cadillac. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Definitely. I'm trying to think any other ones. Um, So you and Joan, Joan in the dark. Well, did you, wait, didn't you want to quickly talk about Hamilton? I feel like you had something to say about Hamilton. 
Oh, yes. Yeah. So she saw um, Hamilton again. I wrote to her, have other shows. Have other shows. <laughs> okay, listen, I didn't know that I was going to win the lottery and go the other time. So the first Stop time doing it. You're ruining it for everyone and get... else in Chicago. I know. I stopped. I stopped. I stopped. I stopped. Um, and then I went uh, this past weekend with um, my man friend. And the, oh, okay, tell me how you feel about this. So sitting halfway through the first act, okay, Washington, not that, not that good, guys. Um, halfway through the first act, Angelica, who um, was a beautiful black woman, was now played by a white woman. So either she got sick or injured or something halfway through the first act. So that was like a little, like a little, you know, everyone, oh, everyone's so she a buzz. Changed, she changed through the. Throughout. Yeah. Something must've happened to the original okay. Angelica. Does that, okay. did that ever happen to you? Where you just have to like, the show must uh, go on. Uh, no, we had to stop the show during Bra Bat Boy because Bra uh, Brad broke his knee during the show. <gasps> Ooh. We had to end the show in the middle of it. Oh. The ambulance came and it was a whole thing. Um, yeah, well, anyway, uh, so she switched. So, you know, everyone's a little like uh, heightened. And then all of a sudden I feel a tap, tap, tap on my shoulder. And we both like turn and this older woman behind, she's like, I, I, I can't see with your head so close together. Like, well, well, where would you like my head to go? Like, off my body somewhere? Right? Like, that's rude. Like, where do you want my head to go? So then I had to, like, move. You're, you're, you're not, like... No, I'm just imagining what it must... Like, how much it must suck to be a tall person when you go to theater. Like, how aware you must be of that. You're not tall. I'm just thinking exactly. of like, so like, what if you are? I'm tall? not that tall. Suck. You're but not tall. Just dress You're circles. Fine. It was like right dress circle. Well, were like, you like making out during the whole show or something? No. Well, then they're Absolutely fine. Absolutely not. They need well, to calm yeah, down. You know me. I'm always yeah. like, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's public PDA media, at yeah. Kimbo <laughs> with Jody yeah. over here. No, I'm just <laughs> sitting here, and then a tap, tap, tap. So first of all, it takes me out of the show, and then I'm doing what any other normal person would do. I'm thinking of everything I should have said in that moment. And I'm like running every possible scenario through my head. What I'm going to say, what I should have said, it totally took me out of it. I was really upset. And like, yes, just because you're old doesn't mean like you get your way. Then like buy different tickets. Right. Yeah. You're no, you're have like better normal, seats. You're normal height. Have better seats. See, what do you do? What, what do you do? You're fine. Like That's not something you do. Right. I've never told it. I've never even shushed anyone. Like you life. move or you like the person that you came with next to you. You're like, oh, can we switch seats? Like you will always have a head in front of you unless you're sitting in the front row. Right. I was at a show. Like one you're going to have to compensate left or right somehow. Don't I, I, I don't think you need to worry about it. This person is obviously miserable. Well, also, somebody... I've been curious about this since Saturday afternoons. Oh, since well, approximately uh... 245. You know, take an edible and calm down. And look at the screen right now. I have a quick video to show you. Really <laughs> okay. Jump scare. It's a Halloween <laughs> episode. Oh, there's going to be spooks and scares throughout this entire episode, you guys. Okay, I have an announcement. Okay, that's all I got. Boring story. Sorry about that. That was good. Well, stop seeing Hamilton. It's over. It's I over. am not seeing it anymore. I'm not You're seeing done. It anymore. That's insane. I am I done. You've seen I Hamilton like more than I've like watched the Gypsy movie starring Bette Midler. Um, <laughs> okay. Hey, I don't haven't... bring up Bette Midler, babe. Like that, that's very triggering for me. You do look okay? like her. Hey, I look like Kathy and Jimmy, and uh... but you don't. Okay, but you don't. Well, I look like Vagina Daddy right now. Um, okay, I have an announcement. I have an announcement. I am starting, well, not I, me and Joan. Everyone knows who Joan is, right? Joan. He's mm -hmm. like our most favorite guest. Yeah, John Nick. Moan. But everyone, every, yeah, like everyone loves them. They're the two men I allow to be part of our podcast. Right. Me and Joan have decided to start a new podcast and we hope that you guys will follow us over there. Mm. Um, we, it, now listen, it's going to be, we've been talking about this for a while. 
but it's going uh-huh. to launch in the new year, hopefully Fridays, maybe January okay. 5th will be the first one. Ooh. We're going to have a Patreon. We're going to have a YouTube channel. It's going to be a whole oh thing. Because yes. now I kind of know what I'm doing. So we're going to just okay. launch it all and you guys can explode all over it. Um, uh-huh. It's going to be uh, Sex in the City based. So okay. we're going to cover in just like that and Sex in the City. And also Girls will <gasps> cover because that's also I and like the this. city adjacent. Yep. Terry Diaries, Devil Wears Prada, uh, Family Stone, <laughs> anything adjacent to Sex in the City. We will. What about like we- Sex Lives of, of College Girls? Uh, sure. Maybe you like a couple like years one. in once we've finished everything else. But definitely. Broad City. Broad City would be another great one. Mm-hmm. That's all on the free feed. And then we'll also have a Patreon, which we're going to drop at the exact same time. And when we drop it, you're going to have four episodes already waiting there. What? Now, this is a Sex in the City adjacent podcast. So we went back and forth for quite a while, figuring okay. out what like a funny name would be, like what should we call it? Yes. And, yes, um, and, and we kind of went back and forth, like different puns, brilliant things. And we landed on... Um, th- are you ready? This, yes. Drum roll, please. Da, 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 da. This is what we landed on. Todd <gasps> oh and God, the city. I oh, I love it. I feel like how oh. stupid the title is kind of just works for it. Pod in the city. No, Amanda and Joan. It's perfect. Yes. Oh, now, I love Joan. It. His I name is it. actually John. I just call him Joan. His name. He's. He's not trans or goes by a woman or anything. No. He's just John, but like I just call him Joan. But it's Pod in the City with Amanda and John. And we're going to talk about, we used to watch it together in college. Oh we watched it. Uh, so I'm I hope so you guys excited. follow us over. Do you, okay, you so guys it's dropping after the new year. Uh, yeah, January 5th, I think. We're going to have a meeting this week. But do you guys think that that's going to be good? Will you guys um, follow us over there? Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. It's gonna be cheap. Oh, it's gonna not be gonna so be good. like ten. It's it'll be like four dollars if you sign up for the very first couple months, and then it'll like go to like five dollars or something. Like this that. is so good. This is so good. Yay. Do you guys like it? Are you guys yes, happy? Everyone is going crazy. I'm trying to. Jones, get these like, I don't think anyone's here. gonna be excited about it, but I'm like, what? no, I think I think people will be excited about it. Yeah, he is gonna have to purchase a light though, so we can actually see him. No, he'll definitely need a light. <laughs> but yeah, that's what someone's like. Us, but will Joan have a light? <laughs> Pod and the city. Check it out. Oh, I so love that'll it. be so yeah, good. that'll be happening. Um, let's uh do you want to move on to some uh hot topics? Yes. All right, hang on, just let me get to the hang on. There's so many things here on the hot brand. Topics. Hot topics. Um, okay, really quickly. <laughs> All right, <Anne. laughs> So, uh, biggest story of the um, week. There's like mustache hair is just like in my mouth akimbo. <laughs> um, <laughs> this thing's gonna be off by the end of the episode for sure. Uh, biggest story of the week is that, mm. and this is not funny in any way. Matthew Perry passed away. Yeah. This was a rough one. Yeah, and I'm not saying that lightly. Like this was. M- this, I mean, listen, I love The Office. I will quote The Office all day long. Friends was my most formative years, I think. That was like yeah. when I was the most depressed, lonely, junior high. Nobody likes junior high, right? Unless you're like oh God, no. and pretty. Uh, yeah, exactly. Unless you're right. the asshole in middle school, everyone yeah. hates you. And you have no personality school. now. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is what I watched all the time just all the time i've seen every episode probably 20 times and this was rough and i listened to his audiobook uh really really rough so how did i mean i don't i feel like you were a couple you're there's a three-year age gap between us uh-huh. you're a little older than me i don't know what your relationship is with friends but i know that you don't know it as well as i do like it was no, the same to you no i've probably seen the same you know more popular episodes and then the ones that we've covered on trp um, but it's just really sad. We watched something. Was it the reunion? And we we're like, oh, like he's going through it, you know? Yeah, but um, I actually, he said that um, he just got dental surgery the day before, and that's why he was so lispy. And actually, if you, I rewatched it the other day. 
he has like porcelain veneers, like fresh. So I feel like maybe that is true. I just think that he yeah. did so many, you know, he just did a lot of shit to himself throughout the years that it did yeah. such a toll on his voice that he's just kind of warbly now. But yeah, I mean, it's the, the, oh God, I don't know. I mean, like just addiction and whether it's alcohol or drugs or whatever, like it's just so incredibly, I mean, sad is an understatement. What, what else do you say? You know? Well, then you watch him on Friends and it's just watching it's like a, a very high functioning addict. Mm -hmm. Like he, you, you would never have known that. He I was mean, hilarious. I think, yeah. And really, I think everyone says this, you know, like the, the most kind hearted, like deeply sold individuals are the ones that have, you know, addiction issues because they're trying to heal something or like seek some sort of solace for a lot of, you know, pain. And um, it's just, oh, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. And you know what? I and he was like public with it. And that takes a lot of guts to yeah. do. He wanted his legacy to not be Chandler, but to be that he is helping other people to get sober. Yeah. That's so beautiful. And um, you know what I really respect about him is that he never got married. He never had kids. Like he just, he knew that like, look, I'm not going to be good for anybody to fuck up anyone else's life. So he just, I really, and I, I admire his maturity and not mm -hmm. indulging in all of that stuff. He kind of just kept himself and uh, it's, it's rough. I mean, friends is, <laughs> Friends is my show. That was like my perfect era of TV. Yeah. Um, I pulled a clip of my favorite. This is my favorite oh my Chandler God. clip. I can guarantee you I am the only person on the face of this planet who finds this clip funny. Okay. But this was uh, th the immediate thought. I was like, that's the one I want to play. So, and I also, for anyone who's a Friends fan like me, it's going to be jarring to watch because I had to flip it. Like I had to flip oh. the video. So that we don't get in trouble. Oh, right. right we right. still get in trouble, but whatever. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play it okay. right now. This is the final boarding call for flight 664 to Yemen. <laughs> well, I guess I got to go. Oh, my bingling. <laughs> I'll wait for you. Do you even know how long you're going to be gone? Well, just until we find an energy source to replace fuel. Oh. Well, I'll write you every day. 15, Yemen Road, Yemen. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Chandler? Nope. Chandler! Janice, there you are. There you are. I had to have one last kiss, and, and also, also, you said you were going to leave right after I got on the plane. No, no. I, I want to see you take off. Well, then I guess I'm going to Yemen. <laughs> I'm going to Yemen. <laughs> when we get to Yemen, can I stay with you? Favorite. When we get to Yemen, can I stay with you? It's just, whenever I board a plane, that's always what I think of. When we get to Yemen, Aww. can I stay with you? Oh, poor guy. God. That's really hard. And, you know, it, it, it has to be hard for everyone in his life who tried to, you know, help him heal and, and fight, you know, his demons and his addictions it's just really sad all around it's yeah, and really people bad. keep calling for like when is the friends cast gonna start saying shit it's like this was like their family member they don't yeah. need to say shit they cannot say anything for the rest of their lives if they want right and like people right. like they filmed i watched this and then i felt gross afterward like a bunch of paparazzi like filmed keith morrison meeting because uh, keith morrison was his dad like he his raised step -dad. Him his stepdaddy Right. His, his vagina. <laughs> um, right. He like was greeting like his parents and then they all walked into the house together and there was just cameras and shit. And it's like, come How on. What is this? Like, Diana? Like, come on. Yeah. No, not the time. 
No. Wow, uh, really so RIP Matthew Perry. Like it really is. I mean, f- watching Friends will never be the same. I will cry every time. Yeah. And he even said, he's like, it's a weird thing when you're me and you know that when you die, it's not, it's going to be shocking, but not surprising. Oh God, that's horrible. Whew. It's rough. So let's move on to maybe happier hmm. things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Well, this isn't happy, but uh, Janelle from Teen Mom, not, not okay. was Janelle, Janelle from Teen Mom, her uh, and Babs went to court last week. This is an update on the team mom situation. Uh, she went to court uh, to check in to see if Jace is doing good at Babs. He is. And Janelle was 10 minutes late for court because she was busy doing a TikTok video in her car. No. Say, Stop you, it. Uh, cops. Fuck you. I'm Stop. ready for my court date. And then she flipped off the uh, the media when she walked into the court. Great look. What? <laughs> Yeah. And so yeah, people yeah. tracked the timing of this. Like she was late and then they were seeing what she was doing right before and she was doing a TikTok. Well, yeah, because you can Smart. track that. She was doing like a TikTok being like, I'm ready to walk into court with my mom and I'm ready to fight. And you all you haters and I'm sticking with my husband and Jason I'll show alive. you. Yeah. Oh, God. And no. David has officially Ugh. been charged with domestic violence and for um, abuse of a minor. So thank God. Hopefully he gets the electric chair. <laughs> it's a misdemeanor, but hopefully that that, that you know, hopefully that ends with the electric chair. Yeah, that's and, shocking uh, that he's yeah. still out. What the hell? I know. Well, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, do you want to talk about? I don't know if you actually. I know that you did purchase this, but I don't know if you've given it any listens. But did you listen at all to Brittany's book? I sure did. You did. I, I did. I am not done with it yet. Uh, okay. I mean, I wouldn't call her um, uh, an excellent author. Well, it's a ghost writer. Well, then they got someone like very on her level, I think. Uh, right. Not a great literary wonder masterpiece. Um it's very like if I feel like if we were doing a spoof of an autobiography where it's like on those nights, it, it's almost like a Janelle or a Janelle Brown Instagram thing where it's like, um, you know, when I looked out, out the trees and uh, like hear the wind blow in a oh, lightning bugs yeah. all around. Wow. Yeah. Who knew? I, like these things that are like trying to make it very memorable. Um, very like you know gritty and like she's always been a deep thinker that said i mean it is good she's i just got to the part where she's saying like she saw the free britney stuff people wearing t-shirts they were talking about on whatever the view or something um how jamie lynn is basically a stuck-up spoiled bitch yeah um michelle really williams bad. does a good job she does kind of sound like britney so that yes, like, I think I think Lindelof. Michelle Williams is doing such a good. I I was impressed. I felt like yeah. I was like listening to Britney, but I felt like safe because that intro yeah. that she does, I felt like I was not in a safe zone listening to that. Right, it's a little sad because she's talking about Sam Ashgari like there's yeah. they're an engaged. And it's like oh I don't know God you know. Um, I think a lot of the stuff from her childhood was a little dramatized. See, I thought that was the most interesting part of it was the childhood stuff. Really? Like what? Yeah. Just hearing about like how poor she was raised before Jamie Lynn came and like how um, close she was to her brother. And just, I mean, everyone was yeah. expecting this to just be like her railing on Justin the whole time. I think he got let off very easy. Yeah, like I his think- his career is fine. He's going to come out of this fine. Yeah, uh, I didn't think it was that shady with him. No, which actually. I kind of like. I kind of appreciate that about her. Like, Sorry, I think like, it's kind my of classy. Room's going all over the no, place. No, I love that you put the broom in there, Jody. I just yeah. really appreciate that detail. Mm. That detail. Um, I think that really this book was really more to um, showcase how much she hates her father. Like, I think she that's really how oh, she wanted yeah. to crash and burn. Was her father. And her mom, too. And her or mom. maybe I haven't and gotten she- to parts, but where she's like, yeah, they were just chilling out in the house, going shopping. I'm sitting at home. Couldn't do anything. And that is horrible that she's in rehab in these facilities and 
can't get out, can't do anything. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm just I'm just doing, doing my costume Venetian change. Life. I'm wearing I'm wearing like biker shorts as my bottom here, so I'm just oh. I don't want to stand up. And show everyone. I'm just changing my lighting here because the sun gotcha. is going down. Like, I mean, it is interesting. I'm doing Audible. I think I have like the you know 15 day trial or whatever, so I'll listen to it. That's what I'm doing too. Yeah, I mean. I, it's one of those things where everyone's like, oh, it's going to be good. So your expectations are so high for it to be super juicy. And then you're like, oh, yeah. okay, this is kind it's of the stuff we assumed or that we juicy. knew. But it's worth listening to, though. But I would say that Jessica Simpson's book is better. Yeah, Holly, Holly Madison's, Madison's book is better than all of them. That's the Well, one. the dramatic reading of Holly Madison's. But Michelle Williams does that, too. What? Where? Yes. Why? Mm -hmm. She does that too. Chapter 17. Alice falls down. The whatever. What does she call Alice it? Alice through the looking glass. Lewis Carroll. 1942. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, but I mean, it's pretty good. I would say it's worth the free trial. I wouldn't like dash out and buy it to read it. But like, okay, it's kind of juicy, right? It's worth, it's worth, and also I think uh, Michelle Williams does a really good job of reading it. The white, yeah. the white Michelle Williams. Whitest, yes. whitest, yeah. The whitest of all Michelle. Okay, um, let's, uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, ooh, I have, I have a little clip here that's going to leave you chilled to the bone. Are you ready? Cast oh, no. your eyes upon this joke. Girls, that is, might not be the best, like, solution for life. I'm just saying. Did your vagina just like clench up into your stomach? <laughs> that that would be Christine. Girls, that is, might not be the best like solution for life. I'm just saying. Girls, that that was Christine uh, doing a cameo for us and railing on us about the name of our podcast. She doesn't yep. like it. She doesn't. She Girl, doesn't allow the word hate. I her. yeah. I love to love Girl. everything. I love to love, love to everything. hate. That's my philosophy. That's that's not what you should do. But then Girls. thank God for Isabel who came into the room and she said, I love that. Oh, I love that. She goes, you da? You da? And then truly came and brought her, brought her some tea. Yeah. It was a whole, the whole, the whole cameo was just a shit show. Yep. Yep. There was so much happening. Girls, girls. girls. I mean, really, that is a hang your head in shame moment. Sorry, Christine. We're sorry. We love you. Um, okay. So, um, Welcome to Plathville. I mean, shocking revelation. Olivia and Ethan have broken up. Um, Thank God. It's I mean, about time. Jesus. Oh. Let's see what Olivia's statement is here. Ethan and I have decided to go our separate ways. I have ambivalent memories of us being 18 years old, innocently dreaming of forever. But the partner you choose is a reflection of the world. You want to live in. And at 18, I didn't know who I was or what kind of life I wanted to create for myself. Seven years later, I've already begun my journey of questioning, deconstructing, and rebuilding. And I know this is a process that I will continue to prioritize throughout my life. There were good moments, and I want to remember and honor those. We fell in love as children, and we are going our separate ways as adults. Wiser, older, and braver, we will be okay. Thank you for the good times, Ethan. I wish the best for you. Here's Ethan's statement. Oh, I didn't see his. Olivia and I have parted ways. Just didn't work between us, though Lord knows we both gave it all we had. It seemed we were constantly pulling each other in opposite directions in life with different goals. I wish Olivia the best in the future ahead. I care for her deeply and always will. Well, well, that's that. I know. Uh, <laughs> that's wrap it up. Yeah. Okay, I really like those wine slushies. I tried a Coca Cola for the really first good. time. I thought it was really like nice. Slushies. <laughs> uh, I don't think sh I don't think ambivalent means what Olivia thinks ambivalent means. That makes no sense in that context. I have ambivalent memories of us being eighteen, falling in love. Because ambivalent means like kind different. of nothing, right? Like I don't have memories. Like ambivalent, yeah, like, just like you're yeah, like indifferent. You're like, yeah, eh. yeah thank <laughs> you. Thank you, Relish Trey. That was the first thing that came to mind. I'm like, mm, I 
I think it like in, to her ambivalent sounds like, oh, you know, we were just young and carefree and we didn't know. Mm, nope. Um, oh, this is funny. Yeah. Well, there's three more sentences that I expected from him. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, God. I, I, not, I accidentally what knocked over, over there. I knocked over that like Virgin Mary candle with a, with um, uh, Leslie oh, Nope on it that you got me. I accidentally yeah. knocked over. It's okay. Ugh. I knocked it over several times. That thing will take a take a licking and go on kicking. A vagina daddy away. does not like a, a strong female lead. No. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, what else is, um, oh, here we go. We, we have it pulled up. Ambivalent. Having mixed feelings or contradictory ideas about something or someone. Hmm. Uh, but it doesn't fit what she's, I mean, I guess. I, I, I don't know, Olivia. I don't know. Don't really like um, that. Uh, Vagina Daddy's one... been hitting the moonshine. <laughs> I also think I, she's been I, hitting the moonshine. I wish. This is Zempic. I, I, I think Vagina Daddy's been drinking some root beer. Some root beer. Some, some root beer. Some root beer. Vagina Daddy's drinking like a jug with like three X's on it. Oh, and does he play the jug like... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he blows uh, that during his contractions. Like, breathe. <laughs> I have one more piece of business okay. for um for this episode, and it's uh you're gonna get pissed off. We need to address this. Uh oh, <clears throat> yeah. Shall we? Yeah, go ahead. Uh. Two gals over here used this for a cover for season 17 episodes last year. Just saying. Not too You did this. Was this was back when I did not touch anything. You were doing everything. And yep. you made a cover about like the yep. ex-wives club. And yep. we took that, made it a thing, and now they're getting all the fucking credit for it. And I don't like it. Hilda Bear Boots from 90 Day Fiance. So Look tiny, so cold, SNL. Oh, right. Uh, Beaker you had face? Beaker Face. It needs to end. Just give us it, credit. All yeah. you have to do is give us credit. Yep. Stop credit, stealing. please. Credit, please. Not cool. And I feel like everyone's starting to hate Aurora because, like, we're pointing it out to them, too. Start and to that, I say, her. I mean, where we go one, we go all. I We're all aboard for everyone seeing what we're saying with Aurora, but like, come on now. She oh laughed God. her head off when she saw that. I think she might like my, uh, the one that I made where she's holding up Shamar Moore's number. Christine's holding up his number, just like from Goodwill Hunting. How do you like them apples? Never seen that. Holding it up to Cody. Babe. Yeah, I don't know if I did either, but I knew that scene. <laughs> I feel like I know Robin Williams is in it, and the, how do you like them apples, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. And he holds up the number. How do you like these apples? That's from The Office. What are they going to Ah, okay. Well, there we go. Um, what else? Anything else? Anything Nothing else? Nothing for hot topics, but people stop stealing shit from us. And if you do steal stuff, yeah. go ahead. Just give us some credit. That's all we care about. Oh, care. it's like a year old at this point. Come, oh, come on. on. Jesus. Like Christine mm -hmm. reposts it and they get all the credit. Actually, that's fine. I don't want Christine to know any more about us than she already does. She already spilled it. Girls. Girls. I mean, shall, I mean, if we can remember. Girls, that is might not be the best like solution for life. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What a bitchy way to end that. I'm just saying, yes. guh. Just saying, guh. Yeah. Oh, truly, uh, Isabel, what do you think of We Love to Hate Everything? Oh, I love that. Oh, you do? It was a mess, mm -hmm. the whole camp. Mm -hmm. um, shall we get into uh, what are we watching? Oh, sure. We are watching. Here we go. <laughs> All right, what do you got? Um, I am caught up on the Golden Bachelor. Me I am too. Oh, okay. okay. Um, 
Okay, so Christian or not Christian or um what what what's the one? Not Christian or uh oh what's her Caitlin. name? Caitlin. Caitlin Jenner went home. Yes, Caitlin Jenner went home. I mean, she was Caitlin Jenner and she was, yeah. was there was something where like I want her to go on that TikTok account where the chiropractor like fixes people <gasps> whose shoulders like that's what I said. I'm like, I want someone just to like bring her shoulders back and like crack yeah, it like, in that upper like i want that done to myself as well like her shoulders um, are up here by her ears yeah and she's just like she's very high anxiety mm -hmm. yeah, she sucks um, but also like she sucked in a way that like a mature 60 year old sucks like just like she doesn't really have time for the drama but she's like and Teresa is annoying she's like look Teresa, shut the fuck Teresa up Teresa is annoying I mean, oh my God. I, I like uh, Caitlyn Jenner more than Teresa. She's annoying. Yeah, I mean, Teresa's face just troubles me. There's something about her, just her facial structure that troubles me. Um, and I, I do think, actually, that Teresa and Gary, whose name is spelled like Jerry, which is very confusing, yeah. I do think they would genuinely make each other the happiest because she seems just like she's just very uh, chill, low key, doesn't require a lot. I like the blonde one. What's her name? Um, she started wearing glasses this episode. Ellen. I want to say her Ellen, name. Is Ellen. Ellen's the one that he let go. That everyone was like, "What the hell?" Oh right, yep. Where she's like, "I think I'm just ready to go now." <laughs> um, right, but well, I, I, I think won't, she we'll would desire more. In the long run i think this is a, a like a hidden uh, an unanswered prayer for her everyone's um, at, like wondering like everyone's speculating on who the golden bachelorette's gonna be so people are saying ellen oh. but people are also saying joan not my joan but jerry's joan that was the connection that i really like th i was shocked when she went home also her daughter was joan no one's like the really like pretty one that they had like a full connection and they and he's like I've never felt like this about anyone and then she went home the next day because her daughter had had like a c-section and then she's like mom I need oh, to come sure. home yep, and yep she needed yep. to go home and be a mom I'm like well yeah, yeah no I get it you want to be a mom but like there's always gonna kind of be that little itty bit of um of like you, know, you kind of fuck that up yeah fine yeah, fine. Yeah, you fine. And also, uh -huh. I could have found my true love, and you fucked us up. And you're probably yeah. That's what um, my opinion is on it. But I don't have kids. I don't. I've never given birth. Okay. But I'm a little irritated at our daughter. My guess from the get go was that Faith was going to make it to the end, and I do think that Faith might be the one because they're keeping. Yeah, her but it'll last two years, I think. Oh, they're not going to stay together forever. Yeah, I think they'll get like. Joan. The hot looking one, who's like kind of like the hottest one? Uh, she wore like little jean shorts. She's got like a bang, she's got like the Leslie. body of a 25 year old. Yeah, Leslie, the one that they went up the off roading together. I don't think they're equally yoked. No, just of them like, are. I don't see them together. And Gary's Teresa, just such a nerd. he's like too, he is. he's too wholesome. Like, there's no sexual, like. No, I felt that with Joan though. I, I feel like he'll date Faith or whoever he picks for like a year or so, and then him and Joan will reconnect and they'll end up together. That's what I feel yeah. is going to happen. Like, like what does short. he do when he's like having sex? Like, I feel like afterwards he'd be like, "Oh, that was wonderful. I just think you're a heck of a gorgeous wow. gal." You Can know, I give like you a hug. Just, <laughs> yeah, like you know, it just absolutely what it, out. I know. I know. Ooh. But I love the show. I'm obsessed with it. I like. I can't wait to like keep watching it. Like, I think this is one of the most wholesome shows on TV. It is, but um, it makes me uncomfortable then to like see him kissing and stuff. It's just like, oh, oh I don't enough. know. I don't like. It. I don't like it. It makes me very uncomfortable. I also love when Nancy got with him, and she's like, I just feel like you kind of have your favorites, and I feel like I'm not part of that bunch. And he's like, I won't dispute that, Nancy. I won't dispute as he tears up, he just cries yeah. over everything. He's just so much of a few. Although I do that he would be like, well, like, 
these days. They say they do a lot of stuff with the uh, rear end, the behind. Like, I think he might be a little curious about that. And he would bring it up right. like that. I think so. I think he's a little... <laughs> All right. Uh, Not prepared. Okay. I watched... Um, now, this is actually very spooky if you, if you watch okay. this. Um, I, I watched, this is now my second time watching it, but it's a movie by Bo, Bo Burnham. Is that his name? Okay. Yeah. I feel like he's going to come out as problematic, like super soon. And the reason I uh -oh. think that is because he's such a feminist, like kind of icon person, that I feel like it's only a matter of time before something is revealed about him. But I hope not. Okay. He directed this movie a couple years ago. His like directing debut, I think his like screenwriting debut called Eighth Grade. I mean, oh. if you want spooks okay. and horrors, a horror show, watch that. Because it's just about Why? a girl in eighth grade who's kind of awkward, who's like five pounds overweight and like is awkward and shy. And it's just watching her navigate like the last week of school trying to make friends and going to a pool party with bathing suits i highly recommend it it's funny too it's it's not like super depressing but it's like oh. okay but yeah. you think it's going to be a problematic thing soon i think he is going to come out as problematic at some point because everyone loves him so much and i feel like i don't know this is just the way okay. men end up turning out that they huh. uh, you know, we horrible. love them and we're like, they love women. And then it's like, oh no, he's actually the worst. Oh, okay. But for well, now, he has daughters. Really he has to be a good guy. Right. Um, <laughs> okay. Anyway, check out Eighth Grade. It was nominated for like a okay. whole shit ton of awards. Yeah. Have you not oh. heard of it? No. You would love it. It's a great show to watch with, with you and Paige, actually. Oh, okay. really? It's a perfect show to watch with okay. you and Paige. Yes. Okay. I'm pu I'm putting it on the post. -it. It's uncomfortable because it's gonna be you watching eighth grade Jody navigate life. Ooh, and it's know. like a horror show. It's the spookiest thing of the season that I watched. Okay. All right. I wrote it down. Okay, so I finally found I've been all week. I'm like, what am I going to have to center me for the next couple months? Okay. Months. I mean couple weeks let's be honest but like what can i watch that's going to just center me and like make me calm and i've decided okay. to rewatch do a full rewatch on this is us so that's what i'm doing right now <laughs> i'm doing my second rewatch on this is us why do you do this? really bad show. it's a good show though it's good but also terrible and so expository, my God! Yes. Well, Randall, you after all, watch... your your father, who gave you up as a child, did show up on our doorstep last night. So, what are we gonna do? It was just very terrible dialogue, but I'm I'm into it. It's making. Is me that still bad. on? No, it ended. Oh, like darn. last year. You always do this to yourself. You go back and watch the worst shows. I like to rewatch it, Jody. Stripper, oh. stripper. Now you rewatch it too. Secrets are no fun. Mm. Do I rewatch like Sister Wives? I mean, Real Housewives. I can always rewatch some of those. Right. The Office. The Office. Yes. Yeah. This is us. It's just so cooked. It's just so manufactured and cheesy. You know what I loved back in the day, and I bring this up every so often that I think it has. Um, a little flavor of this is us is brothers and sisters. I Allie love brothers Peel. and sisters. I watched it that one. It was so Miami good. A show called Suds, and it was at the same theater that I that Luann did her <sighs> Miami show at. Oh, girl, oh, no. girls, girls. Um, I don't think that was a great like... show. Yeah. Dave Annabelle. It had uh, that dude that ended up marrying Carrie Russell. Great show. And uh, and Rob Lowe, Rob Lowe, yes, yep, great. Go Alyssa back and Flockhart, watch it. Sally Field, oh, that's great. Right. Lista was in there, yeah, that was that, that's a, and, it, and it was canceled early, so it's only like four seasons. That's a great, yeah, it's not very long. You guys can do if you want to do a bit. Yeah, I think I came great. in like season middle of season three, and I was like, holy shit, I gotta go back and watch this stuff. It was really good. Now, I watched a movie finally that, um, 
everyone's, you know, everyone knows about this movie. I just never went around to actually watching it, but I watched Get Out, Get Out, Get Out. Never seen it. Right. Because you <laughs> don't like black people. No, but it's a, it's, 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 it's a great movie, obviously. Great movie. Uh, okay horrifying and then i i read obviously then i went to a whole like wormhole about like jordan uh jordan peele doing all of these interviews and he's like no this is actually just my actual fear that this is what white people want to do to us and i'm like oh, oh my god that's what you think we're gonna do to you. what what are they doing i don't know it's the like whole... they're gonna like like uh like take these black people and like steal their souls and like what and like you know like steal their bodies because they're more physically fit than us you oh have to Lord. watch it it's okay. on netflix for free jody and i okay. actually pulled a clip from this it's my favorite clip it's like horrifying but i just want you to um, okay check out the screen i it's a really short clip uh if you want to go okay. does the queen want some gushers for your very special tree yeah let's get one here you go babe i know i know here you go it's been a long time since you've had one. Can you take it? Can you take it? Grab it. Not the... No. Take it. There. Grab it. Come on. Take it, honey. Ready? Take it. Grab it. Yeah, there you go, honey. Now for... For something that's so sentient, uh, it needs to work on its uh, hand-eye coordination. My motor skills? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Howie doesn't want a gusher stuck to its claw. It's going to it be was like... trying to get at you. It was trying to reach you, you monster. <laughs> the go it's have away. gusher goo on its claws the whole rest of the day. It is so messed up, and her voice is really annoying. Yeah. I actually like her voice. It's like ASMR to me. What? Oh, goes, guess God. what, Howie? Yeah. I, I'm so into it. That's not cool. It, that seems like that would be poisonous. It's poisonous to humans. It most certainly is poisonous to other foods. Yeah. Yeah. That crab wants to die. I, I, look at, <laughs> we used to have like Howie stands and everyone is the same thing. Like, can we just push <laughs> this thing back into the ocean or toilet <laughs> anywhere? <laughs> Flush it I'm back so, to where it came from. This is I'm not so okay. excited to reread all these comments later because I haven't even like clicked on comments yet. So. All right, we're almost we're insane. almost at, we're almost at the end of like this. Like, my God, I feel like I'm like flying with the Riddler right now. All right, last thing. I uh, what are we watching that I have on my list is um, SNL, which we both watched and we both agree that the host was oh my possibly God wasted during the episode. Yeah, it was Nate Bergazzi or Nate Bergazzi. Bergazzi, Bergazzi, I think. Sure. He is comes up on my TikTok all the time and he's got some really funny bits and huh. I think he's more of kind of like a clean comic. Um, lots of stuff about like his wife and kids, observational humor sort of stuff. But I mean, instantly... Either he was so beyond nervous and having like a panic attack or unprepared or yeah, wasted. It was, it was so uncomfortable to watch. I just felt terrible for him. Yeah. But the, the, epi the, the sketches were good. I thought they were and like his delivery. Okay. I'm glad. Okay. So Meg is, is, is saying this. Like okay. he, he does we talk don't know slowly this comic at all. So maybe this is just his shtick. We just don't know him. Yeah, he does. I, he does talk slowly, but he just seems so uncomfortable. And his eyes were right on those cue cards, which, I mean, I get it. I would be doing the same thing, right? But it was just, ooh, it was so uncomfortable. The lines and things were funny, but the delivery was not, it wasn't there. And I felt terrible for him. Because people who don't know him are going to be like, what the hell is like this? Us. I was like, ooh, I'm like, he can't get his words out. Yeah, I felt terrible for him. Now, the week before, Bad Bunny was on SNL, and he did pretty good. good. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that because of the 
because the right the writer strike is over, so I assume that SAG AFSTRA also was over, but I didn't realize they were still renegotiating. They're still on strike. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I don't know that whole thing. I haven't. I follow like... it just because of Doughboys, because both of them are in both unions, uh, mm -hmm. so they they do talk about it. Um, and then that's what I was talking when when um when uh Mitch was doing Twisted Metal and it came out, he couldn't promote it. He had a whole. The whole month of uh, September was supposed to be Twisted Metal Month, and he couldn't do it because they weren't allowed to talk about it. That, like, sucks. Uh -huh. So, um, but I didn't realize that the writers did settle, but uh, the actors are still going through it. So that's why they can't have any actors on SNL. So that's why they have to be creative by having just comics and um, musical Musicians. Guests. Yeah. Musicians. Which I, I mm. like that, though. That's fun. That's more interesting. Yeah, I, I just felt bad for that Nate guy because I feel like he was just thrown in there and he was not as prepared or something. But the something was off, funny. and I don't. They were right. They were yeah, yeah. Well, the George the Washington George one everyone is saying is hilarious. Oh, got sorry, my broom. Watch out, that broom. I mean, oh. it's a Kimbo. <laughs> God forbid you move it out of the camera shot, though. Oh, right. no, 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 no. All right. Um, are we ready for? I am um, so ready. Brown family. I kept calling it Brown family values, but I actually have it listed as Brown family corner. Uh, oh. So here we are. Are you ready? And make oh, sure I'm you ready. watch right to the end. Okay. Right? How horrifying was that? How horrifying was that? You are listening. That was a, a jump scare of Robin dressed as Cleopatra. They were she looks dead. Her. She looks deader than the actual dead Cleopatra. In that, the, uh, that was terrifying. Um, and quite elaborate costume for just your kids to come to your closet door to trick or treat. Oh, Aurora was five feet away in her car being a hippie, yo, with my guitar. Ew. Ew. Uh, I'm Taylor Swift the hippie. Oh gross. Um I did enjoy the the little uh what was it like a little vampire doing like a little capy poo? Yeah. Like action, some bats flying. Oh, I I, I I actually uh subscribed to Canva Pro, which is $15 <laughs> a month, Jody. It's a write-off. It's a write-off. I asked my Auntie Twyla. It's a write-off. Oh my um, god, to get that. <laughs> To get the flaming poo, it's worth it. Right. So me it and Joan, beautiful. when we were talking about our Sex in the City podcast, I, we were like talking about ideas and like I sent him one. I was like, oh, I'm going to send him this like thing that I put together. It took me like 25 minutes. And then he's like, I'm thinking more of this. He sent it back to me in like five minutes. And it was like 20, like 20,000 times better than what I ever did. And I was like, oh, so you know how to use, he's like, yeah, I have Canva Pro too. Like, oh, so <laughs> it's no I'm just old. You're like www.canva.com slash, <laughs> slash start slash login equal sign. Uh, like, I'm, so everyone's better at all of this than me. Oh, God. <laughs> but it's so good. So fine. Joan can do all the social media stuff. I'm happy with that. Mm. Um, Brown Family Corner. So, first of all, Cody is doing a live um podcast uh this uh on wednesday and hang on i have it here uh cody where is he oh i guess i don't have a thing for it but i do have the information um it's going to be on a youtube channel called mormon discussion inc and it's going to be live November 1st at 6.20 p.m. Very strangely specific time. And this was okay. figured out last week. So for some okay. reason, they were like 6.20. That's the time, Cody. I feel okay. like it's going to start about 6.55, right? Okay. Okay, Based sure. Based on how often well. this Mormon channel does these kind of things. Right. But Cody will be going live and discussing all things Mormon and all things AUB all things i don't know jew if oh you will. right well he does have a friend who's a jew yeah yeah mm -hmm. he knows all about it mm -hmm. so he's gonna go on and talk about that so everyone tune in 
everyone throws shade or Maybe not. Everyone... That'd be hilarious if no one actually went and listened and watched. Yeah. I don't know. I also watched a cameo this week of Cody being like, Hey, yo, peace and love James. Uh, yeah. I mean, being, a, being famous is like really crazy. Cause I watch myself on TV and like, it's not me. That's like a caricature of me is what I'm watching. No, it's not a caricature of you. That's you. That's you. Yeah. You saying and doing those things. But do you whining like a little bitch? Yeah. You I'm are a caricature of a human, of like a non-sociopath, but that is you. It's yeah. Like, it's not actually, it's not me. It's not me. No. Okay. It's just no, a camera focus on You it. can't play that. No, no, no. Yeah. We're way past that point. But I mean, I'm going to watch it, obviously. What the fuck else am I doing? Um, So I'll watch that. I'll take notes and we'll see if there's okay. anything to, I mean, I'll probably start a fake youtube account maybe <laughs> i just have to say i'm i'm i feel like i'm off my game because i'm looking at you and you look like just a really nice older 73 year old man like it, it is so convincing am i coming across as a man or like as an old lesbian no it, you are full on vagina. what if i take the mustache off do i just look like a lesbian now like a smart um, lesbian. Like I, I'm doing a book reading now. No, I feel well. Now you look like you might be um, leading like an organic gardening, yeah, sort I, of a like farmer's market. Let me, let me, let me. Yeah. Let me Are you going to teach us how to compost? It's like our. It's like hour six of Robin's. Oh, you're you're going to teach us how to compost in the in uh, urban communities. Now we're back to nice old man now i feel like you're gonna go to the library and you're gonna rent some books about world war ii and then mm -hmm. you're it's a different generation or revolutionary war muskets that you collect in the basement mm -hmm. and maybe the toy train collection and i'm okay with black people I'm, they don't bother me <laughs> they don't bother you <laughs> They don't bother I mean, me. You don't bother, don't bother them. They don't bother you. Exactly. Just keep <laughs> your own side of the street and we're fine. <laughs> oh my God. Yikes. I okay. Um, I also wanted to really quickly show this because I talked about this last week. Uh, Tony and McKelty's. I just wanted to really go into this aesthetic. Uh, okay. Aesthetic of what they're presenting to us on their Patreon. And I guarantee you they're making six times the amount that we're making on Patreon after five years of us mm -hmm. grinding ourselves. This is what they're giving us. What the hell? This is what they're giving us. They're looking at opposite. God, Tony is really just, ugh. I hate How him. I texted this you is the, aesthetic the other day. They're giving us is this, this gym in the background, Tony in a gaming chair, and McKelty in like a like Downton Abbey chair. Yeah, what is in that? In their garage. Oh, God. Sorry, what How were you saying? How does she get? I texted you this the other day. How does she get on top of I that don't know. man? I don't like, know. Oh, but but my guest Akira from uh, YouTube, she just put out a uh, TikTok. YouTube. Uh, she, my guest from TikTok, who was on my sister wives episode last week, she just put in an episode where she recapped like word for word their most recent episode, and like her and Tony get into this like fight during the episode, and it's awkward. McKelty and Tony do? Yes, because <gasps> he's being a dick, and she gets pissed, and then it's uncomfortable. But their lives, they have to kind of push through it. But Wait, everyone, check he out totally a is that kind of guy that's just going to be. Mm -hmm pushing because he thinks it's funny but then she's like over it and so the whole episode she's like mm. like because he doesn't what, get what the hint that? and he does right he'll never admit he's wrong tony is totally so ever, check out guy. akara underscore a k e r r a you'll find her she breaks down the entire thing moment for moment and i was living for it you don't even need to subscribe to okay he's giving me your money just watch akara okay oh um, god yeah the hair swoop oh he does. He does this like, oh, I can't do it with my, with my nachos and my taco. The oh, it's like, it's over. like a fro, like down. It's like a fro, but like a long, loose fro. And then he it's takes just the whole dirty thing. dirty looking. It. Okay. Gross. So this was another spooky thing that happened to me this week. Um, while I was, I don't know, plan, I was, I was figuring something out for this live and I was like really revved up and, um, 
all of a sudden, uh, I get a notification. Well, Fridays with Friends is starting. I'm on, I'm on <gasps> so I jumped in there. I wrote a comment and they answered it. And then I got right out of there. So I'm going to well, I'm gonna show you because I screen recorded I'm so proud it. of you with all these clips. Oh, my God. I mean, this is, yeah. This, this is, is my, amazing. My job. Uh, amazing. Let's see. Fridays with Friends. Fridays with friends. Here we go. So basically, so what we're going to see here is Mary and Jen. <laughs> Sorry. Say no more. It's been a happy hour for two hours. <laughs> In the background. Jody. In the background behind them, there's a couch. Guess who's lying on the couch? Guess who's lying on the couch? Uh, what's his name? Moby? Bob the skeleton. What? <laughs> He's laid out on the couch. He's in the camera frame the whole time. It's so funny. I, I was thinking Mosby. That's the name. Mosby. Oh no, 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 it's the skeleton. They're 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 making that skeleton count. This guy's gonna <laughs> stick around all year. Oh, oh <laughs> give me a break. No, don't break your bow. Oh. Bob looks hungry. Boy. Oh, have a sandwich, oh. Bob. He's bony. All right, here we go. So we're gonna. I'm gonna play this. You're gonna see me write a comment, and then Jen's gonna answer it, and then I'm gonna get right out of there. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! You're flying too, flying close, too close, close to the sun. To the sun. <laughs> oh, episode I could here. probably figure it out if I thought about it really hard, but I don't know. But also, even if I did, I couldn't tell you. Um. Yes, speak the truth and are kind. I always speak the truth. Sometimes it's not kind, and I've learned that it's more important to speak the truth. And if it hurts feelings, I just try to do it in a tactful way. But I'm not always kind anymore. I'm just not. Yeah, I but you're not mean. No, there's I try difference. to be kind, but... Yeah, no, there's, there's a difference between being mean and... You know what I mean? Like, just don't be mean. Yeah. If you're not doing it on purpose to hurt somebody, yeah. but if you're being true to yourself... Yep. You know? And, um... Yes, Alicia, that library, heroin library. Heroin library. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so I'm very, I literally just said, I said that word really weird. Heroin? Library. Li library. Library. It's only water in the cups. Um, Lisa Pizza 19. And then I got right the fuck out of there. <laughs> it's only water in the cups. That's not what I was asking, Jen. I was asking, wow. what's your cocktail of choice? That's what you yeah. want to know. Defensive That's what the haters want to know. She just admitted yeah. it. She just admitted it. Like, we're not alluding to anything being in the cups, Jen. We're just yeah. asking in general like on any other day what's your favorite. There, yeah. All I'm asking is what's your cocktail of choice? I want to know if we it's thought root beer and Mountain Dew. You'd laugh and have a good time. Or, yeah, root beer, yeah. Mountain Dew, and banana. The 99 bananas. Root so. beer and, and sour apple pucker. Sure. Bailey's and what's something that would really congeal in there? A pucker. Cream soda. Cream soda. Mm, and, uh, that goes a little too well together. Yeah. Cream soda Red Bull. And triple sec. Red Bull and <laughs> Jägermeister. No, Ooh. that's too that's too that's too rich for their blood. I feel like they drink like college students, but she got really oh, it's yeah. just water in here, actually. That's yeah, not no, what it's I was not asking Jen. No, it's not. No, they I didn't are, ask they're mean girls. girls. Yeah, they're but well, Bob back asking. there. But you see Bob? He was back there. He was laying out. <laughs> oh, these two. Oh, oh, fireball. I could see that. Fireball with um with like orange crush. Ooh, yeah. It's definitely sweet. A lot of sweetness oh, happening here. It's very oh, it's sweet. sweet. It's sweet. <laughs> Bailey's in a fresh gut. Totally. Oh. All right. Let's oh. check out um, Mary's Instagram this week. Uh, what do we got? Mary's Instagram. Uh, first of all, uh, her, and, I mean, we all know Mary looks like a smoke show in her little. Mm. Um, Lizzie Borden esque thing, but Jen needed to get in the picture too. So here's this picture that they posted. I don't know who this person in the middle is, but it's horrifying. But it's a picture of um, the Wait, haunted house Jen? tour. Wait, oh, maybe Jen isn't there. Oh, 
I guess I didn't look or at this. Jen with no glasses? I don't no, know. No, this must just be uh, like her with two people. But anyway, here's a picture that Mary posted. This looks very recently. spooky. This this doesn't look like ages two and up. This is like the ten and up crowd, I think. <laughs> I mean, two Mary looks a... horrifying. <laughs> like she really legitimately looks scary. That, that um, is her look. We have uh, Mary. She bought a little hat that says witch on it. And she says, it's a, a, w heavily filtered this picture, by the way. Uh, yeah. Like this, somebody went in with like a eraser and like gave her lines. It that looks never like, existed. It, yeah, a doctor just gave her her Apgars. Like she looks like she just came out of the womb with that white skin. Yeah, and we know like, that she's been every shade of like orange. Like her chin is birth. smashed. Everything is pulled all the way back. Um, it's a throw a ball cap on and get stuff done kind of day. But you know, oh, I got to keep up those Halloween vibes too. Okay. This is oh, Mary is not a out. throw on a ball cap kind of girl. Nope. Just like Robin. Remember Robin's cool hats? Oh, that she you don't wore? think I remember Robin's cool hats? Her uh, lazy also, cap. Lastly, Mary went to a pumpkin patch and here it is. Pumpkin posing at its finest, never a dull moment with the amazing It's Joelle so Day. Silly. So she has a friend named Joelle, too. She's got friends. That's quite a weird pose to like she's, she's do feeling from behind. Herself. That's bold. Those pants are like hanging oh. on by a thread. Oh, 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 height. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Listen, we all we're put not on some pairs her of fat. jeans. We're, we're no, saying she needs to go one size up from Just what she's buying. Size up. Here's yes. how checking your sizes. No, this is she's gonna take those off. I've said this before, and it's going to be like that inner seam from your jeans that's a little bit thicker than the outer seam, and she's gonna take it off, and it's gonna hurt. Yeah, so it's gonna be that thick seam that's just been digging into the inner thigh area. Ugh, go up the size. We all have jeans that you got to take size. lunges in and go up and down stairs and lunges. But these are we need to get the boyfriend jean back in style. We tight jeans. Yes, get, they're over. Yeah, right, and I don't uh, think those have any spandex in them. That's that's pure denim tight. Yeah, yeah, that's hurting. Oh, um, Christine was kind of like laying low this week, but she did uh, post two pictures. Um, one was of her like new fall fashion. Everyone's talking shit about it. I don't oh. mind it. I kind of, Oh, I saw it. It's outrageous. I feel like I would, I would have worn this not at age 50, but I would have worn this at like age 25, maybe. Like, no. Yeah. no. Yeah. I had weird style. Uh -uh. So she posted this. I think it's cute. I don't think there's anything wrong. What's wrong with this? Amanda, it is what? awful. That's it's awful. What's wrong no, with it? She's, she's trying to mix textures and fabric. Get rid of the tights. Get rid of the tights. Then I'm going to say the boots too. Like those are not, those aren't booties. Those are actual boots. And then it's a thick cable knit tight. And then a sweater. Um, just like the material on that skirt next to the cable knit tights is giving me like ugh, okay but like look, this, imagine that the together. tights are not existent i think this is a cute outfit okay the, 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 throw it off. the sweater or the top doesn't go with the skirt and then that boxy huge blazer that i think is david woolies is far too big it makes her look ginormous it just does not fit the scale of the whole outfit. I think I think you're just a hater. I mean, you are no. a contrarian. Uh, no, she, everyone then, is saying the same thing. Get rid of the blazers. Not a flattering look, babe. I don't think she yep, looks everyone fine. agrees. Looks no, better than awful. Robin looks. She's well, than Robin would ever look in any. Uh, uh, well, but yes, she, but mm. then she decided to post this blurry ass picture. This is just so funny because it's like, here's a photo shoot of me wearing this zany outfit, and then here's this blurry ass picture that she posts. What? So this, this is like part of this. It's very this Janelle. Just here's this blurry picture of me with nothing What's in the, the glasses. It's like the like weird Jeffrey Dahmer transition. Yeah, they're kind of glasses. transitioning. What is that? But I'm gonna I'm gonna add this to it. It's just very funny that she would add that. Now, um, I don't like it. Don't like it, babe. 
<laughs> All right. So shall we move on to Janelle's Instagram? Did you watch the thing that I sent you? Janelle. 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 Yes, I did watch it. Shall you reenact? Um, okay. Well, I can't do it as the vagina daddy, obviously. It, it would look weird. She well, posted. I can do it. I can do it with this because it's oh. Like I'm in my broom. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't make sure that broom's always in the in the shop. <laughs> Hi. Hi, everyone. I'm um, live from North Carolina. I'm here to help Madison do some certifications. And um, you know, I was thinking, um, you know, we all have different things we think about, and um, you know, sometimes I make assumptions and and it's like I you know, when everyone assumes, and we've all done it before, and um, yeah, so. She doesn't know where we'll she's going. It. <laughs> it's like, you don't have to post everything you record, Janelle. It doesn't what? automatically post. You can she, redo it. I counted no less than three times where she just stopped <laughs> mid-sentence. And she's like, so sometimes it's just like I, you know, when people assume things, um, <laughs> Matt, like, I, I don't know if she was high Her, or what was like going saying, on. Like, you know, when I used to live in the South, I, I thought that uh, it was cold, but now I'm in the North and it's actually cold. And I'm like, oh, it actually wasn't that cold when I was down there, but now I am cold. It just makes you really think about it. Because we we assume things. And um, I assume we all cold. do it. Yeah, we yeah. assume. And um, you know, so it's and it was also cold. taken from a downward angle, and there's like a booger in her nose the whole time. <laughs> and she's just standing in front of a door, and there's like a little yeah. bit of a wreath that's like coming out of her she, head. She just kind of oh, wanted to tell her. us that. She had a thought. I love her. <laughs> <All right. laughs> What else? Okay, let's see. Uh, Janelle uh, posted this uh, rebuttal because she said something about the South last oh. week. And people were like, that's not the South. She's like, since there has been much debate on my last post about what states are really the South, I present this Wikipedia article. Ha, 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 ha. I didn't know some of these states were considered Southern. P.S. This is shared all in good fun. Seems, seems oh, good fun. Uh, some of the discussions have been quite lively. Oh, she, she doesn't want everyone getting all upset. It's all good fun here. It's all in it's good okay. fun. I'm not. Ooh. I'm not coming after you. Don't Ooh. worry. Here's a. Uh, she wants us to know that Maddie Ooh. composts. One thing that is kind of cool at Maddie's, all the kitchen scraps go out to the chickens. Very little organic waste. And then a picture of uh, garbage. <laughs> a picture of garbage. I want I want to live in the world where I just turn around and I see Janelle just taking a picture of the garbage, thinking like no, Maddie, I, I, no, I'm gonna Maddie, do something. I want to talk, I, I want to show know. everyone. Look who's the chicken. Who um just, and then lastly, chickens, who knew? uh Janelle got some found some eggnog, light eggnog, home again. I know we are still deep into pumpkin spice season, but I think this is happening with my coffee this morning oh Janelle. 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 Spice. What? No. Oh, you. you mink so Janelle's crazy. going nuts over here damn single Janelle with the eggnog and she's not gonna then, be single for long I could tell you no, that no. Mm. not when she's partying the way she is with that eggnog and that mm. compost um mm. lastly um Hunter Logan and both of their like wives slash girlfriends went okay. out and they presented their Halloween costumes. And there's a video that a reel that Janelle posted. I just took four screenshots in the reel. Okay. They're all kind of sitting, they're standing on this spinning, this rotating thing. So you see each person Hunter, you can't even see his face. Cause he's such a fucking tank that it's and just he can like, get it. And yep. he can get it. So you can't see yep. his face. But um, here is the picture of, of that. Oh, I hate you. Okay. It's a picture of Howie. I hate you. It, the clown. And, but here's actually what it is. I Hunter, hate this. Here's Hunter's girlfriend dressed as Walter White. 
Here's Hunter. You can't my, see him. My Vegas kids rocked the Halloween costumes this year. Who knew? <laughs> yeah. They really rocked here's, it out. Here's Michelle Logan's uh, wife dressed as Jesse from Breaking Bad. I don't like and this. This makes me uncomfortable. Here's Logan dressed as Better Call Saul. They rock the Halloween no, costumes. That's, that's Logan wearing a suit. Yeah, it's just him wearing a suit. That... I, I really had to. I really had to think about what he is. I'm like, what? I'm like, who is he? He so looks like a, a kid in like Frank? a Agent Cody Banks movie or something. Yeah, like, wear, like wearing his my God kid, suit. the president, like one of yeah. those. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, oh my God. and that's it. Let's get into uh, this episode. Let's um, yes, let's, let's do it. it. She's not, she's, Robin's the only person on earth who can make Cleopatra not sexy. Yeah. And she has a very prominent jaw there. I'm just saying like it's, it's a strong jaw. All yeah. right. All right. Here we go. Y'all ready for this? Yeah. Okay. Sister wives season 18 episode 11 airing the dirty laundry. Uh -oh. Christine is ecstatic when McKelty tells her she's having twins. Then Mary reveals that while out for their anniversary, Cody finally admitted he no longer wants a relationship with her, and she is forced to consider ending her marriage for good. Except that this happened about five times already, Mary. Yep. Uh, now, listen, you know how in sitcoms, like once every few seasons, like The Office had one of these, it's called The Banker. And Friends had an episode called The Invitation. And every every show does this, where there'll be some episode where they just do flashbacks. They'll have, like, kind okay. of a story weaved into just showing flashbacks of all of the seasons. That's kind of what mm -hmm. this is. This is basically just a flashback episode. However, I kind of enjoy it because it's it's just always interesting to go back to even clips of season one. Like, cause I would yeah. almost say we've recapped season one through nine now on our Patreon. Yep. Go check out our Patreon. And mm -hmm. um, I feel like if we went back today and started at season one, episode one, it would be a totally different episode than what we recorded a couple of years ago when we first started. Yeah. Cause yep. every time you go back, it's different information that we know now. So mm -hmm. it's just very, very fascinating. Very true. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I am. Oh, wait. Where are we? <sighs> okay. I am at uh, 50 something seconds. 50. Okay. I'm at 58 seconds. We're starting with the uh, little intro here. Ready? Three. Oh, I'm ready. One. <laughs> Last week I went back to Flagstaff and Janelle and I had a really in-depth conversation about her relationship with Cody. I'm more at peace when he's not around. Right now. Yeah. I need something different. I need more of a companion. Yeah, you do. On one hand, it would be so easy for Cody to fix his relationship with Janelle. However, it's relationship with the kids where Janelle is really frustrated. You know, his relationship with her children is what the main problem is. It's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, her situation is a lot harder than mine. Salt Lake City. So the entire family knows that I'm pregnant, except for Isabel. So we're going to go ahead and tell her. Okay. So I just really want to like get, uh, go in on Tony for a second here. Please do. Like, okay. So I feel like Tony, like he, it, he was like 
you know, overweight and like busted and like has a terrible personality, Mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. But now he's on Ozempic and he's lost a whole ton of weight. So I feel like when people like usually do that, they like do a glow up. Mm -hmm. No, he's committed to you're getting a black shirt, unwashed hair and unwashed skin. And that's just you might get hit by a stick. Trust less cheese cake. Mm, trust less cheese cake. Um, can we say Salt Lake City as Madison? <laughs> Somebody did uh, give us a shit, like not a shitty comment. Oh just like, no! Oh, I, w- I wish they wouldn't make fun of Madison's uh, speech impediment because, like, the person's daughter had a speech impediment. She Where really doesn't of- even have it. She was yeah. just a bitch, like for exactly. one or two seasons. We're not she making was a fun of the speech bitch. impediment. We're making fun no. of Madison because she sucks and she thinks that she's all that. My daughter did too. Like, well, like still right. whatever, I guess technically does. It's not even that. It's just that she was just like we don't like Madison. She sucks. Major. <laughs> but she does her own she's not even in this episode, and sh- and you're gonna change your opinion on her halfway through. Because I was like, oh, because oh, I, I like Madison now. Okay, yeah, okay. But here's McKelty and Tony pretending that they're not on Ozempic. And, uh, but Tony's committed to the black shirt. I'd be that like, really? So nasty. I'm like, wait, we're just spending all this shower. money. Just take a sh- Maybe cut the hair. Maybe cut <sighs> the hair. Take a shower. He's just sloppy. Buy a shirt that fits you that doesn't have grease stains all over. Yeah, and like, get some flonase and stop breathing out of your mouth. He's such a mouth like, breather. Close your eyes past your like pupils a little bit. Oh, Sampaku. <laughs> Akimbo. Yep. Right, I'm at two minutes, 13 seconds. Okay. Oh my God. okay Avalon, I'm going to need you to put all of those. Okay. Thank you. Because, down. because. I couldn't even pay attention to this entire scene because all I was focusing on is like, nobody's even noticing that Avalon's got her mouth and hands all over all the bagels, all the croissants. And yeah. then uh, 10 minutes One later, somebody's going to eat that. They're not going to know that Avalon licked it already. No, That's what I was I focusing on this whole time. Yeah, no, shit. It's, and it's like half Tony's DNA. And it's like bread. It's not like something you can wash off or anything. Oh, no, it's like, soaking up her drool. Bread. It's over. Spittle. It's oh. over. And nobody's yeah. no you can notice as the scene goes on, nobody is noticing that she's holding that she's double fisting bread and croissant and bagels. Yep. And licking them. Nobody's noticing. And there's like, fresh fruit don't... right there. Yeah. And you know Tony's the type that's like, <clears throat> I'm gonna itch your fingers. Nom, 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 nom. And like chews on her fingers, and then she goes and she touches things and then puts it in her mouth. Tony would share a soft serve ice cream cone with the dog for sure. Like that. Oh. Gross. I don't think, actually, I don't think Tony's sharing anything with anyone, but he would be the one, like, you're sitting there, you're eating, and, like, you look over, and he goes, like, home, like, <laughs> and he thinks it's funny that he just yeah. ate half your thing, and you're like, but that's not funny because I wanted it. By the way, I dressed Walter it. Up disgusting too. Walter, he's, a little bit. Just, he's dressed as a gentleman. He's wearing a little bow tie. He's a gentleman. Oh, he, he does look a little alarmed. That like, there's a new uh, vagina daddy in town. He, yeah. he has like a little like yellow raincoat slicker. And I was going to make him wear that and say that he was Gene Kelly Aww. from Sing It in the Rain. But he would have been so miserable. He hates wearing Oh, clothes. that's so cute. Oh, Speaking geez. of which, look who's here. Whoa. Oh my God, she's looking right at me. All right. <laughs> Latrice, my producer. How am I doing, Latrice? She's she is gonna <laughs> spray something out of one of her holes or oh, uh, she's fine. something at you. I'm at two or... minutes twenty seconds. Avalon's holding a bagel and a croissant, both uh, unusable now, uh, inedible. Yep. Yep. Uh, as far as I'm concerned. Agreed. Do you guys want to see the song now? Oh my gosh, yes. 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 There's one other major surprise that I haven't told anyone yet. Except that this happened two years ago and you're, you're yeah, exactly. already like in middle school. Yep. So it was about to look like that top about us the top. You had to. Wait, no. 
Oh yeah, I forgot about Peyton's in this scene. He is okay. so annoying. Yeah, Peyton, this is not about you. Can you just God. This is very much a go away, Peyton. Yeah. You're part of the yeah. real family, so I'll give you a pass on that. Like you're not quite God. at Aurora level, but I'm sorry, I'm just staring at Tony. Like oh. That guy produced twins. Oh shot it out right in. They're strong swimmers. Oh. I think maybe just because he's so like like seated and just like dormant. <laughs> he's so seated. And like his <laughs> his sperm just really has a chance. It's like concentrated. Like, yeah, the, it's like the, the mountain dew that he's drinking, like they're just like they're get they're gaining more and more strength. Yeah. And so they have like he just goes in and it's like there's a lot of sticking power to it. We have this one journey, guys, one time, but we're going to make it count. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or we're going to be stuck in here for, ugh, let's just get out. <laughs> it Run. smells like Doritos in here. Oh, it's going to smell at least a little bit better at, in, in McKelty's <laughs> ovaries. <laughs> I've never wow. seen a sonogram of twins before, ever, ever, ever. I already love them. If I was having, well, if I was having a baby, my mom would be like, oh, Amanda. But if I was having twins, <laughs> it would be, Amanda, <laughs> what are you going to do? I mean, what it would not. It would do? not be happy. It would be like this is a problem. I you are like going to be mad at this. I'm just. I'm. I'm picturing Ron, just the rest of his life, just sitting there listening to Daphne be like, you know, I, I. I told her that she shouldn't put the babies in there, and she did anyway. Like he's just hearing She's just uh, a, a narration of your life for the rest of his life. <laughs> like, oh, I don't know. She's just fine to me. I'll get, <laughs> I'll get as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I'm at three minutes and 12 seconds. <laughs> I already love them so much. Oh my God. That one gnawing away. She got two new bagels. Oh God, yeah, go ahead. And no one's noticing. Okay, we don't need to see this. Like, shows, uh, just the second, uh, do you see Peyton back there? He's like, like the camera's here, and he's like, he's doing a Janelle. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's pulling an Aurora where he's trying to get in. Yeah, I, I'm, totally. I'm here. I'm here too. Yeah. Hang on. Oh, my coffee maker was just delivered. Oh. My okay. Keurig broke yesterday, Jody. Oh. You should call see if it's still under warranty. I told you to apply for that warranty. That's my mom said too. <laughs> no, I got I got I got a new one that that brews cold and hot, Jody. Oh, well, you, any of them can brew cold or hot. Well, not the one I had, because my curio okay. is like five years old, okay? I'm not bougie. Oh, I'm I saying should, it comes out hot. You do I'm it I'm record the introduction and say, Jody, the bougie <laughs> contrarian. Um, okay. Who's, who's rich family owns a lake house and like a mountain home? Palm Springs. We have a house in Palm Springs, Palm too. Okay, okay. Here we go. <laughs> The shittiest houses in possible ways. Well, <laughs> well, now you got two Keurigs. I only have one, so there's that. Jody drives an Audi, so. Oh my God. It's a used. It was the cheapest thing. <gasps> what was that, like a 2021? <laughs> no, it is older than that. Oh, 2020. please. 2020. <laughs> no, no. Older than that, babe. <laughs> Here we go. It's fine. I, I wish I owned an Audi. All right, oh, here we go. I'm at, three, I'm at three minutes and 48 seconds. Second baby. And I'm going to talk with the second baby. Yeah. 
they're just so cute and they actually got the two of them together and they're all mushed they're all mushed Ew. so much i mean you Gross. see one's on the ground Tony's with one baby so and, and they all were like, super, super smashed i can't imagine that if she's getting a huge i mean like when you're pregnant she was pregnant it was out to here but twins that's gonna be like big I don't even know. She's, She's gonna be anyway. so fat. Yes. I was not surprised actually when I when the when the doctor told me, hey, there's two things in here. We're gonna get a second opinion. I was like, oh, okay. And the doctor was like, yep, sure enough, you're having twins. And I was like okay sounds good pretty much and then i came home to show to tell tony and i showed him the picture uh, and he was like yes she's like look there's two blobs and i'm like what do you mean there's two blobs and she's like there's two of them i'm like no there's not cool just, story yeah right cool story didn't laugh once babe of course mckelty's that kind that's in there and she's like oh Cool, whatever. Look, it's two blobs. Two blobs? Yeah, two blobs. We're so zany the way we banter off each other. And she's just we like playing like it cool language. in the doctor's office. Like, yeah, okay. I totally knew when I was going to have twins. God, annoying. She's such a know-it-all weirdo. Ugh. He didn't quite understand. Oh, man, I was like in brain lock. I'm like, what? I was in brain lock. Yeah, I was in brain lock. I was like, I'm brand yeah. I'm like, what? There's two blobs. What do you mean, two blobs? I was like, just two blobs. I'm like, oh my God, we're have two babies. Clear your throat, Tony. Weirdo. God, get a nasal navage and like, <laughs> ugh, suck that freaking phlegm blob out of your sinuses. Gross piece going? of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Isabel is just stress pounding cantaloupe now. Uh -huh. like, oh yeah, that's great. I'm really proud. I'm really happy for you. That's great. Two babies at the same time. Three. Three with Tony. Okay. She, I mean, yeah. she's pounding the cantaloupe. Well, because she's thinking like, oh my God, my sister had sex with that. Like, yeah. like make it go away. Yeah. Ew. And like, Oof. there's going to be two more of these things, like stealing my bagels and croissants. <laughs> we don't really have any twins in that I know of. I don't think anyone asked that question, Cody. It was yeah. definitely like, so Cody, how was your day? And he's like, we don't really have twins in my family really per se that we know of. He's Producers so jealous. Like, I didn't ask. Yeah, he's he wishes he would have blasted some twins. But I'm the himself. man. Yep. I'm the mm -hmm. manliest man. Did you see me wrestle? Did yep. you see me wrestling with my friend? I was the date champ almost. In my... Oh, uh, family history. It's probably Tony's side family. Twins. Tony. <laughs> what are you doing? Yes. Yeah. See, Ew. now, I don't, think he meant it, I don't think he meant it that way, but it came across as racist coming from, from Cody. Him saying, yeah, it's probably Tony's side of family. For no, some reason, yeah. coming from Cody seemed a little racially charged. Yeah. Yep. Instead of so anyone else so in the many world of them. Said, yeah. Ugh, yeah, right. Gross. I'm taking my mustache off. I'm calling it. Oh. Yeah, Avalon's gonna need to get her hands up. She is so close to that bacon. If she gets her hands all over that bacon, that's a crime. Well, later, you don't need to worry about Avalon because later you're gonna need to keep your eyes on true on Ariola during Truly's oh, birthday party. Because my God, my God. No, I know Tony's crying because he's been crying just a little bit. No, are you okay? I'm fine. Yeah, because so, he, he can't breathe. He's like, That's why I'm here. Yeah. Tony has this look in his eyes, like he yeah, Sam Pocky eyes. Yeah, yeah, no, he's not shocked. That's just his, <laughs> that's how he that's always he, looks. He looks like. he's shocked. I don't think he's looked at me in the eyes for four days. Yes. Avalon. Oh my god, so many fingies in the mouth. I was absolutely A, stressed out, and B, taken back. It was mind blowing. And they're like, not in our families. We're like, how did this happen? Like, they both better be mine. Like, what the heck? Like, how do we get. Not that Didn't funny. Didn't laugh babe. once. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So that. 
That's like a, no. oh, stop. That's not like really. a funny, because no. it doesn't apply to twins, which is why like, it's like McKelty is laughing fr from like the orifices of her soul. Like she's guffawing at that. It's not easy just to make you laugh, McKelty. And you know what? You know what the funny thing, the annoying thing is? McKelty wouldn't find us funny. Oh, God, no. I don't no. get it. I don't get the joke. Yeah, no, All right, I'm at a uh, six minutes, 17 seconds. Two of them. I don't know. I'm excited, and the, but I'm also like, uh, so first time, you know, out of one, it was nice because I yes. got to buy everything once. Yes. And I have to rebuy everything because I need all the twin stuff. It was twin stroller, the twin car seats. You have enough clothes for her. Oh, yes. I have enough clothes. I mean, McKelsey and Tony are going to be great with twins. They really honestly are. I'm just really not concerned about it, to be honest with you. We did twins too. Janelle had Gabe. I had Gwen. They're like four days apart. Oh, I did not know that they were four days apart. Yeah, I didn't realize they were that close. Oof. And then Aurora has to fucking jump in. The triplets. She doesn't belong there. No, she doesn't. No way. You're she's ruining like a twins relationship. Yeah. yeah. Go away. You're not one of us. No one invited you to be a multiple. We're not related, except we kind of are because your dad is like first cousins with like like you. Mm. And, but it's like a weird thing. But like, go away still. Yeah, no. Yeah. When I watch them by myself, you just figure it out. You just figure it out. And they're going to figure it out. And they're going to be completely fine. Oh, we're in Paramount, Jody. Oh. Get ready for some laughs. Oh, there's no laughing oh. at Lizzie's Heritage Inn this week, Jody. At Vicky's Victorian Hideaway? Okay, okay. Uh, Just Jen is nowhere to be found. And it's somber mm -hmm. because Mary is starting to kind of clue into the fact that Cody might, might not want a full fellowship with her. Just now. She's, clung, she's oh. starting to, the wheels are turning. <laughs> Okay, so uh, not too long ago was mine and Cody's 32nd anniversary. Leading up to it, you know, I just oh, wasn't even sure what to yeah, expect. Yeah, bills it on his chin. <laughs> I felt like the past few years when we've gone out on our anniversary, it really has just almost been more obligatory than anything else. He hasn't even taken me out on my birthday. So he didn't actually Sweet. call me or text me okay. um, midway. So, you know, this is going to be a segment where I'm like 100% on Cody's team. The whole He's going to say some okay. really shitty things, but okay. everything is so blatantly honest. And like, I don't know what else to do, you guys. Like, she won't leave. Like, I have to say to her point blank, this and this and this. So this is like one episode where I'm like, one segment where I'm like, Cody, I hear you. I hear you. Okay. It's got to be rough. Through the day, I thought, oh, maybe I should just call him. Oh, <laughs> dead I too. I called him. Dead like, hey. And he's like, hey. And I said, happy anniversary. And he's like, oh, happy anniversary. <laughs> I'm like, we should go on a drive or go to dinner no. or something. Like, you know? He's like, mm, I'm watching the kids. Let me check with Robin. What? And then he called me and asked me if we were going to do anything for her, our anniversary. I just said, well, I'm watching the kids. I needed a minute to, like, oh, think. I needed a reason to be able to say no in the event I just didn't think it was the right thing for me to do. And I had to think about that. See, I respect how honest that was because most men would not even, they'd be like, oh, yeah. I was just really busy. He's like, I try, I needed a minute to think of an excuse in case I wanted to get out of it. Yeah. I mean, you got to respect him for that. Well, yeah, he told her over and over again, I'm not coming. It's yeah. over. I don't know why you live here. You don't go here anymore. Yeah. And another thing that never gets brought up, the pink elephant in the room, if you will, mm. catfish does not get brought up. No one's no. mentioned it since like those seasons. But no. like it never gets brought up again. Oh, well, ever since Mary cheated on me, like that yeah. never gets brought up anymore. There's a, such a huge part of this that never gets addressed anymore. But it's yeah. like, Mary, it wasn't just Cody like walking away from you. You fucked up too. We've yeah. She, oh, she totally did. Yeah, she okay. totally did. I'm at eight minutes and 23 seconds. So anyway, so he called me back later and he's like, okay, let's go out to dinner. 
So he came and he picked me up and we went to dinner. At one point he made some reference to faking relationships or something like that. And I was like, what do you mean faking? And we were sitting across the table from each other and he kind of gestured like with his fingers, you know, like between the two of us. He's like, well, this. And I said, what do you mean? I'm not faking anything. He's like, I don't know why you even bothered to call and say happy anniversary, Mary. I'm like, uh, because it's our anniversary. <laughs> He's like, but we're not met. And he paused yeah. and then he goes, but we're not living as a married couple. I felt yeah. like in that moment that he stopped himself from saying, well, we're not married. Yeah, no shit. No shit. He, like, and it doesn't even sound like he was being that mean. He was probably just like, well, you know, like us being fake like about this. She's like, what? Wait, what? what are you talking about? Yeah, she can't play stupid now that she's like, wait, our, our, our marriage is over. I feel like she's kind of doing that for Robin so that maybe Robin will look like the asshole that now Mary realizes she is. But like, it doesn't matter now. No, it's he's I mean, not that's, coming. It's like, dude, it's been eight years. Uh, can we should we address this? What is akimbo? It's you know, A-K-I-M-B-O. Now, Go akimbo ahead. actually means like this. Right. Like, like, like you're like legs out like, hmm. Like Peter yeah. Pan almost. Like, oh. uh -huh. But we just say it as just any general. Like meaning like all over the place. Like yeah. left and right. It's akimbo. A, yeah. We know we're saying know. it incorrectly. But yeah. it for some reason works. It fits. Feels good. It does Try it out. fit. Just like saying Madison. Madison. Caleb. Old Madison. man akimbo. <laughs> Caleb, Caleb Brush. Sorry. Kate's fun. Show a Kimbo for Caleb Brush. All right. I'm at 924. That was like oh, a big realization to me. Come on, Mary. That You're not this all dumb. All this time, all these years, that's how he's felt about it. But I haven't known that. Yes, you have. So my not that. His wedding anniversary, which was seven years ago. Mary and I were in such a bad place. We were fighting. We, you know, it was the same time she was asking me to stop staying at her, in her house. Um, and counseling wasn't working. We were just in an angry place with each other. It seemed like the love had been lost. Through counseling and, you know, recommendation of my other wives, oh, I who would that be? Right? was convinced maybe I yeah. should try and fix it. it. It took me a long Whoa. time. I wanted to see if it would work. But it just it just didn't seem like it was going to work. I felt I just had to give up. Around that time, I did ask him to just, can we just take a break? And he keeps coming back to me saying, I kicked him out. I kicked him out. I kicked him out. I kicked him out. And I didn't kick him out. I didn't pack up his stuff. I didn't tell him to never come back. I didn't tell him that I didn't want to see him again. I never kicked him out. He actually said to me, I have no desire, Mary, to have a relationship with you. Yeah, we know. She's telling us this like she expects us to be like, wait, what? What? Co Cody said that to you? But you guys seem so happy. We, we just covered the episode where she gets the legal divorce from him. And she's like, oh, so you know how you guys said that you wanted me to go when you guys actually get legally married? Like, I think that's a good idea. And he's like, uh, I changed my mind, Mary. <laughs> that ain't happening. We don't need you anymore. You You're suck. not coming to that. No. Bye-bye. You're not coming and you are definitely not coming. Nine seasons ago, we could have told you that. <laughs> You're just figuring this out now. My God. And the fact that I can just picture Cody being like, I don't want you anymore. <laughs> like, he's like, yeah. really? It is Help. over. Oh, you know what? I forgot to change our background to the one that we both uh, preferred. Ooh. I only meant to have the scary background on for my, my, my terrifying bone chilling intro. <laughs> there we go. That's a little more zany. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. I am at, um, 10 minutes, 57 seconds. Understand, Mary, this is never going to happen. 
your life is not one that I want to insert myself into. Like, I'll never forget those words. Oof. Insert like, this is myself the into it. You got it. <laughs> Very, very painful for me. And I felt my heart like really speeding up because I'm like, What are you doing? You know? Yeah, but like things happen, Mary. Like eight years. You had a catfish. Like, I'm going ahead. Associated with the hospital. It's so insanely exciting. Oh my God. All right, at 12 minutes exactly. Did I miss anything in the chat here? I'm finally looking at the chat. Oh, no, we're good. I put my uh, my glasses up on my head, you know, just to keep them going. Kind of like, I'm kind of feeling this look. You actually this, look uh, like a really pretty older woman right there. Like you just got your hair frosted and you're like, hmm. I'm not trying to impress anyone. I'm just chilling. But like, if I was wearing like, like fitted, like, corduroy like brown pants i would look fucking sick right now yeah you would i look hot you look like you would stroll into like a community college horticulture class and you're gonna be I'm like not, i'm not i'm not putting up with anyone's shit and like as i'm talking i'm like oh don't give you glasses. any guff mm -mm. no excuse me excuse me do you want to say that out loud for everyone to hear yeah, yeah. i'm just, just here to mind. learn about succulents <laughs> enough of this horse play in the back I'm at uh, 12 minutes exactly. Let's go. My Kelsey's pregnant with twins. Oh my yeah. gosh. It's so yeah. insanely exciting. Oh my gosh. I just can't wait. The midwives that I went to go see basically told me that because of how risky uh, twin births are, they will not. I'd be like, oh shit. Now we got to hear about this for the next no. month. So I have to have a doctor. Oh. And here again, Isabel with the melon. She's, she's just, like, she's like, is there melon? I, can't. I need melon on the table within reaching distance, please. Maybe it'll ferment and create some sugar alcohols. Yeah. In my Isabel's stomach. having just... like a major like visceral reaction to these twins. Something, some. It's like she needs to eat yeah. melon when we're, we're discussing yeah. it. Uh, Julia is pointing out that my hat does uh, look like Napoleon, and I know I feel. You like do. Like I feel. I feel like Napoleon in, in this show. Yeah, Walter. I know he's getting he's getting Walter, there's still we're only at two hours in. You know there's a whole hour. Yeah. You know, he's freaking out. Walter. Walter. He's freaking out. Are you a fancy gentleman? Walter. Oh. Who wants a busy bee? Do you want a busy bee? <laughs> Walter, who's there? Where's mom? Where's Ron? Where's Callie? Where's Daddy? Oh my God. I love this. Catherine has got a good fan fiction thing. Your name is Phyllis St. Pierre. <laughs> and you teach Ephraim. And I've had Ronnie. quite the sex. I, I've explored many different facets of the sexual. Uh, oh my God. My I life. love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, my broom. Oh God. I love my broom. Cody, you need, you need to be God, on the shot. It. The shot looks too oh, fancy okay. right okay. now. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> I, I know something felt off. Okay. I'm at 12 minutes and 30 seconds. But it also is, was concerning for Tony. Tony's kind of concerned about it with the twins because it's just a high risk. Go lie down. Tony did not like oh, that no. last time. And it was pretty intense. It was really intense. Good. She's coming. Good job. She's oh, uh, Jody, I think you, you're probably going to have to queue up, I don't know, some kind of, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't know if you like can a song. predict. Like a yeah. like baby mine or something like that. Uh, no, just maybe a sound effect that might be because th there's no audio on any of this. So oh, okay. Oh no no no! Not now. We're gonna get to the actual moment, so you can play that during the actual scene. We're gonna oh watch. oh okay. Well, oh, I just wanted to give you just a taste. Were you playing it there because it wasn't going through? Streamyard's not letting it play. <laughs> It's not Is music it stream yard. It? It's Robin orgasming while she's giving birth. Wait, you can you guys birth. hear that? Let us know in the chat if you could no, hear they that. Can't. What I can hear, they can hear. God damn it. <laughs> They've caught on. They've caught on. I'm sure everyone's really disappointed. Wow. I'm at 12 minutes, 45 wow. seconds. And it's a flashback to McKelty giving birth. Oh, people are saying they heard it. Oh, okay. Well, good. Thank God. Great. Then we'll play it. Yes. Yes, let's get her out. 
Oh, God, why does anyone in here? It was burn? intense, and Tony was not down with it. He did not like it when it was over. He's like, babe, we're not doing that again. And McCarthy's like, it's fine. He's like, no, it's not. It was too scary. It was too intense. It wasn't. It was fine. It was normal. So I'm just going to tell you, whatever they decide to do, I'm 100% in favor of. We're going to try to reach out to Dr. Bean since he gave us your truly. John D, they're going to reach out to Dr. Bean. Dr. Bean. <laughs> oh, I know. I don't want you to do that with your finger, babe. Oh, I don't like it. Don't say Dr. Dr. Bean with your finger again. But you gotta. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Peyton, pipe down. Like, Let the man explain it to us what, what birth is. Most unsexy quality in a guy is when he like makes a like mansplaining joke that also isn't funny. Dr. Bean didn't give birth truly. Mom gave birth mom. truly. Dr. Bean mom was the one that delivered truly to mom. It's like, okay. Thanks, Peyton, Thank for telling you, us how your vagina works. By the way, I yeah. work at a strip club as a bouncer. I don't know if I've mentioned that. He's so creepy. Does. So creepy. Ugh. I don't know. I'd like yeah. him to be my son because I feel like no one's going to fuck with me if I'm walking around with this guy, except I feel like I could push him over like a piece of paper. But he looks, yeah, I just he looks say, big. Uh, yeah, of course, Tony is drinking one of those energy drinks that is a sour Swedish fish flavor. Gross. It's like a Sour Patch Kid flavor one. I've seen those. Gross. Of course he is. Ugh. You're gonna go see Dr. Bean. So I'm gonna see Dr. Bean. Yay! Yes. They're going with Dr. Bean. Yes. 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 Dr. Bean. Oh, here's a flashback to Christine in the hospital. Oh. Where's Cody? Where's Cody? Oh, he's there. He's texting Robin. He's at Robin's house. Granola well, oh, Cody. here he's texting and then he's going to go because he needs granola. Granola. You want like celery, crackers. granola, crackers, some granola. Do you want, do you want, maybe you should stay a little longer, even though your, your wife is crowned. High risk pregnancy. That's the other thing that we always forget to say is that not only is he leaving her while crowning, but this is a high risk pregnancy. And her only hospital birth. Yes. So that's fun. So she's just in this sterile ass room with Dr. Yep. Bean. And that's it. Uh -huh. That's her experience right now. Oh, and a camera crew. So that's oh, fun. Of course. I forgot yep. about that part. Yep. All right. <laughs> Dr. Bean's always excited. <laughs> Dr. Bean was the doctor I had when Truly was born. I love that man. I just love that man. I can't help but notice that Cody's just standing there silently staring at Christine dead faced holding <sighs> her leg whereas with Robin he's like yeah what about there you like that Should I rub did, it right did you there? want me to play Robin's I mean yeah I think you everyone could, would could... really like that yeah we can yeah, get the whole experience. I think, I think so too. This will be the only time we play this. There's something with my audio level where whenever Cody would talk, it would not, it would not play. So it's like a bass Lucky. thing. <laughs> or it's just Lucky. like, no, it's Cody, we're not. Oh, it's so I don't gross. Want it. It's so gross. And I was like 14. looking around, my kids are home and I'm like, oh God. Like I was genuinely like, oh God. You're, you're, like, like, you're doing that. You're like coughing to mask the sound. <laughs> you're doing that thing that women do in the women's uh, bathroom where you're like, <laughs> You're like trying to fart. <laughs> of course, I'm sure you've never you've never get, taken a shit in a public bathroom, but I I've, can't. I can't. I've like had showdowns with several old women where I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. So showtime at the Apollo. You're no, not, it's more it's more like a standoff, like a. <laughs> Near new. Like I'm not. 
<laughs> I'm when I'm waiting you out, bitch. I'll wait until you actually die before I actually like do my business. <laughs> Oh my god. I felt to the angel. I need to set it right. Oh my gosh, I felt the whole thing. <laughs> I pushed six children out of my womb. Five of them were at home. And then Trulu was in the hospital. I was so nervous. Ah, I pushed for my ah, guys. Ah, I was 38 when I had Truly. I just oh. felt like there was a possibility something could go wrong. But there was no complications in Truly's birth. None. The other home births. The no, the complications like three years in when Cody tried to kill her. Oh, right. Yeah, the little detail. Kids need to drink. Who knew? And he would have gotten away with it if it hadn't been for that pesky Aspen and McKelty telling Christine that truly was sick. right. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, just here for the comments for the tip. Yeah, they always put a hard G. That's like a Utah thing, I think. Thing. A big deal. That's where I was at. Oh, oh, oh! Here we go. Oh my goodness, he looks like my little boys. <laughs> Here's Madison giving birth to Axel. Another moment I just can't wait to get to. We're coming up on it. She's about to meet Kate and Brash after all in our recap on Patreon. But uh, it's a recap of her giving birth. And then outside the room is Savannah and Brianna wearing a knee brace. Over her Yeah, jeans. fine. Yeah, yeah fine, Brianna. Yeah. Go what home. happened, Brianna? What, oh, what happened to your leg? Do you want, that's what you wanted yeah, me to exactly. ask you, right? Right. Uh huh. Yep. Over the jeans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not even your sister. Go home. Get in. Get in, mommy. Get in. I highly recommend home births. Having a midwife, an experienced midwife, is absolutely phenomenally important and, and necessary. But the recovery is amazing. You could just stay home. You could just stay Ew. in your bed. And and it's so nice. Things. We were talking about how we have been apart and not being in the same homes. And the As a culture, playing with culture, homes. you mostly have home births, especially if it's a plural wife, because in some cases they don't put the husband's name even down on anything. And so you just don't want hospitals to find out that you're a plural family because they can come and take your kids away. There's a whole big fear mentality about No one's taking their kids away. Culture. Yeah, especially not our so, Robin's kids. No one wants any of your kids. Yeah of that my kids just always think there's like a little bit of fear associated with the hospital still it's interesting mm -hmm. christina and i share very different perspectives on hospitals and the medical system she grew up with a great fear of going to the hospital because of exposing their plural family i didn't grow up in this faith my family is not polygamous cody put his name on all my children's birth certificates huh. it's not something i ever thought about because i didn't grow up with that fear i have all the the in and out with the nurses and the noises and the machines, mm -hmm. and the IVs and all that mm -hmm. hookup stuff. That's what I don't want. I know, but you'll get it. And that's my uncomfortable bed. Yeah, they'll keep it. Isabelle's now just stressy to pounding a bagel with cream <sighs> cheese. She's like, oh my God. <laughs> I am not food shaming anyone. It's just. It's, I've never seen Isabel really eat anything. She has zero interest in like childbirth or whatever. Oh She's God. like, oh, God. She's like, carbs? <laughs> Bring yep. me carb. Jody, yep. can you handle this for like one minute and 30 seconds while I pee really quickly? Oh, I sure can. can you, handle it for minutes? you can. Oh, Thank you. I know. You as, as an older, as an older gentleman, we know that you need time. So oh, it's okay. Thank you so that much. Prostate's a knock in. Prostate's a knock in. All right. So let's take a look at uh, our comments here. Let's see. Lots of men have multiple baby mamas. No one cares who your baby daddy is. That is true. But I'm sure that they're afraid that they're going to track them back and they're all going to go to prison. Let's see. A freestanding birth center is the best of both worlds. We're going into different types of birth. Hey, whatever you want to do, I am all in support. I'm more of the, um, I want to like hook me up. I want to know everything is is being taken care of. I want to go home to my nice clean bed. I don't want anyone to have to clean up my placenta and stain my sheets and stuff. But Hey, if you want a home birth, go for it. Um, let's see what else. Oh, fear of hospital bills. That's a good point, Don. 
true that they could kind of like all track who the daddy is and they can charge him for it. Janelle, a felony. Who knew? Um, let's see. Christine should have left 10 plus years ago and drained Cody's TLC money through child support because he sucks. He does suck. Um, the only home birth you're against is those women who get no prenatal care and do it by themselves outside with a cast iron claw antique bathtub. Oh my God. Do people actually do that? That's scary for them and their babies. I think if you have trained midwives and all that kind of good stuff, this is kind of like my, my niche of the episode. So it's probably a good thing. I went to the bathroom because I read about this stuff every day. Um, always had, you need the option of an epidural. I'm with you. I only had I'm one back. without an epidural and it I'm was back. horribly painful. Um, you're back. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I, uh, I got in the bathroom and I, I, I'm wearing suspenders. So oh. I kind of took but then There's I just realized men, men just do this. They just take them off like that and pull your pants. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. I could get squeezy. into suspenders. I think I could be a suspenders person. I think I could pull it off. I think you could pull off that haircut too as you get older. Why not? Who yeah. am I trying to impress? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> You do. You could. You could be like an older Janelle when Janelle just cuts her hair and she's like, you know what? Who knew? I just want a little like wash and go. You know. When I mean, you think about it, um, you're assuming things. You're making ass out of you and me. <laughs> I said ass. That's right. Yeah. How did my son get the name Googie Bear? It's from um Monsters Inc. There's a part Aww. where she's like, oh, Googly Bear, and the but I just just said Googie Bear instead of Googly Bear. I don't know. It just stuck. So he's just like a little like. Okay, let's get back to the. Uh, Did I miss anything? Mm, no, we're just talking about okay. childbirth. I don't think you're gonna like it, babe. I got a diet coke. These are bullshit, by the way. Yeah, those little teeny things. Come on yeah. now. You drink that in three sips. I will. All right, uh, where are we? <laughs> you're you're really like leaning into this character. We're like, so what? Who cares? I'm just gonna have, like. No, bullshit. I'm just so relieved that like. All the hot topics and all the like shit that I like scripted is over. You did so good. Yeah. The bay, you did so good. Thanks. You deserve right. to you deserve to go in your rocker and smoke a pipe tonight when we're done. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at 1621. Okay. I heard about McKelty, who's super close to Robin, and she's super close to me. It puts a lot of pressure on her. A big pressure on her just because she is. Kind of the bridge Tony puts both, a big pressure on us, us, you know, you know what I mean? with Janelle and I are our kids, and then Robin and Cody yeah. and their kids. And McKelty loves both. So I think it's awesome. Oh my gosh! Really awesome. Hey, Christine. Oh, that was interesting. Oh no. Oh no. I just saw. Right, I'm at uh, what? An areola. I just saw an areola. I um. I'm at seventeen oh eight. Check her. Check her one more time. Okay. Biggest compliment I've ever gotten in my life is Sam Stewart saying Amanda looks like B. Arthur. <gasps> oh, oh, I'll give a slow burn. I love it. Like just a. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. This Jody, so I need bad. you to really concentrate on this because this is okay. Also, like, I don't, there's like no new footage in this fucking episode. It's just like this and then the fucking McKelsey and Tony shit. Um, but this is like one rare occurrence where we're actually getting new footage and it's at okay. Robin's house itself. Okay. So it's self produced like by Cody Robin. Like the camera crew is clearly not there. Isabel, okay. you will see, is wearing that. And I clocked it, and then I went back, and I made sure to check during the interviews from season 17. She's wearing that really hideous kind of green shirt with, like, the brown sleeves. You'll see it. You'll recognize okay. it. She's wearing okay. it during a talking head in season 17. So, basically, I think what happens is she was in the area doing about to head to her interview or about to come back okay. from her interview. And now she's at Robin's house. But she's wearing the exact same shirt, hairstyle, earrings. So... Okay. Okay. I'm taking this is this happening. Ariola is a fucking feral child is attacking mm. truly the whole time. Now I felt a visceral reaction to this because me, one of my earliest memories, I was probably three. I have a cousin who's nine months younger than me. So very okay. much like truly and Saul. 
Yep. In six months, truly, truly not going to matter anymore. Good morning, morning. Yep. Um, I had a cousin, Robin, who her name is Robin, actually, <gasps> but she was nine months younger than me. And she used to always jump on top of me and just tickle me like crazy. And I hated it. And all of the adults would gather around and just watch and laugh. And it was, it's, I still have PTSD from it because I hate that's being not tickled. Cool, babe. I hated it. And that's basically what truly, uh, what Ariola is doing to truly during this entire scene. She's on top of her. She's grabbing her. She's pulling her down. She's pushing her. She's all over oh. truly. So just keep your eye on everything that's happening. And then once the cake comes out, oh my God, the cake. Okay. Okay. Whenever okay. Ariola's on your screen, just, Make sure that your eyes don't worry about what's happening elsewhere. Okay, 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 Water. okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. How's the chicken? Uh, I think it's done. I hope it's not burnt. Oh, the back sides of these are looking bad. Truly down. With it. Tony's learned his lesson since uh, <laughs> he's the worst. What is he gonna learn? Out. He cannot grill. I actually notice he I put a foil a down this time. Yeah, so I, we'll I still have a picture of that here. Uh, where is it? Oh, did I, oh, I accidentally deleted it. Did I? Oh, no. Oh, no, here it is. <laughs> yep. That's what he's used to. So now he has the foil down. Robin's like, so bloody. He's not going to burn it. My yep. tender children. They need to have tender meat. Well, because, right, you know, Robin's not cooking. No, no. I'm at 1731. And we're in the kitchen. Everyone's gathered. Robin's wearing a fucking apron for some reason. Why are you, you wearing cook. an apron? Come on, loser. Well, today, so we're going to go ahead and have a little birthday party for Truly. Truly's 12. She's 12 this year. Give your opinion on that, please. That moment. Um, Everyone wants to know what you think of that. She's extremely annoying. And if that were my child, I would say, okay, get off her. She doesn't want you hanging on her. I would I would clearly say that. I'd be like, Paige, stop. You're, you're hanging on her. That's annoying. That's what you say to your kids. They have to learn that is annoying guh, behavior. Stop. Now, there was a live chat happening. Like, it's almost like a Discord kind of thing. But there's a live chat in our group that was happening during the episode. And when that was happening, everyone's like, I can't wait to hear what Jody thinks of this. What's Jody going to say? Jody's going to rail on that bitch. Like, well, listen, there are certain things with your kids. Not that I ever want to like put my kids on the spot in front of people and be like, you're being rude. But there are certain things like that, that you have to call them on it immediately. And they should feel some shame in acting that way. So they don't do it again. Don't, don't. I mean, you could tell truly that's all you have to say is truly doesn't like that. Stop. All right, now I'm gonna um, I'm gonna ah. rewind ten seconds to seventeen okay. minutes and thirty two seconds because okay. you need to focus on this weird, very strange the Robin moment that's about to happen. So go okay. to seventeen thirty two. Okay, it's a Robin couch interview, and she's going to say, "Oh, Truly's about to turn thirteen or something," and then she's going to make this insane face, okay. which. Is destined to be a meme, you know, for the rest of our lives. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Hey, so we're going to go ahead and have a little birthday party for Truly. She's like, get the fuck off me. Truly's 12. She's 12 this year. What does she mean by that face? She's 12 this year. Truly's 12 this year. She's trying to be like... She's trying to be like, oh, I can't believe she's 12. Our, our baby, truly, our family baby that we all love so much is 12. I can't believe time's <laughs> but she right, really but she, give a shit. She's probably just reacting to, like, the word truly. What? Like, truly. Oh, yeah. Like, true. Ugh, it's one of the actual brown kids. Cool. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. All right. I'm at 1745. And, like, just, oh, the fun this party. This is what the most party. joyless, sad party. <laughs> They're all just hanging around the house. And this is her 12th birthday party. This is this is like an actual important party. It's like in this brown year. Brown house, literally, figuratively. With, with just... a like aquamarine plastic tablecloth yeah. from the dollar store. Robin's like, mm, I'm going to put a plastic tablecloth on there, Cody, because. Yeah. Cordy. I don't want her touching the table quality. Oh, I don't want no, truly fingerprints 
No prince, Gordy. No brown prince. Right? Brianna's a bitch. You can just last tell. year before she turns into a teenager. It's always scary, right? <laughs> right Shut up, Robin. <laughs> It's so nice to have party. Like, a family experience and a party. I miss Fun. this. I miss this. And it's, I know it's not all of us, but it's a little bit of us. And that's something, you know. I always want Trulia to feel safe. It's sad. Isabel's like looking around. Did like, you just see over that? Here. Were you watching Ariola right there? Wait, hold on. All right, we're going to rewind. I'm at 18 minutes exactly. So go to that. Okay. And Got then it. when we get, to, okay. So we have. So I was looking at Isabel going like this. There's so much to watch. Are we That's cutting? Like, are we cutting the cake yet? Because are we? Uh, if we I already did cake, my then, so interview. Like an hour left, and then. Uh. And like, if you imagine, just say she just did come from her talking head interview where she was talking about like, yeah, my dad didn't come to my surgery, and yeah, I guess he loves everyone else more than me, and I went to New Jersey by myself with my mom, mm -hmm. and then she has to go here, and it's like, hi, our hi, Ariella. Oh, hi, Aurora. Oh, Brianna, hi. Because I promise you, Cody and Robin posed this party to Ariola. Like, oh, Truly's going to come gonna come over, and you can play with her, and she's, we're going to have cake, and we're going to have pizza, right. and you can have so much fun playing with Truly. Like, no, she's not coming for Ariola's entertainment. And This is not like a playmate for you this and this is her is, birthday this is one example where i feel like i kind of feel for areola in the moment because you can tell that she does love truly she's like obsessed with it. she's obsessed with truly no i think she looks at her as like a play object or she like, sees you're here to play with me nah. okay but listen i'm trying to not be as hateful of children <laughs> I mean, if Ariola had been raised by Janelle, she would have she wouldn't be this much of a fucking asshole. No, no. Right. That's true. She might have had a chance to be a normal person. All right, because I'm at the comments. Uh, the, the, you guys really are our people. Ariola's not okay. Her teeth look dead. <laughs> like I'm sorry. This is much like we say. Careful. Lincoln from Teen Mom, original sexy baby. Okay, not that we think babies Sexiest are sexy, but baby like, that's ever come out of the womb. And it's, it's a fact. Baby. It's a fact. But we all know it. It's baby. not gross. It's a fact. It's a sexy baby. Ariola is terrifying. I don't want to do anything fact. with him. But like, no, no. But like in terms of like babies, he is a sexy baby. Ariola is a terrifying Isaac was child. Not a sexy baby. Yeah. Isaac no. was like her Busted baby. Busted Isaac baby. was busted baby. Now he's not. You know, he's a hottie. Absolutely. Let's maybe just get saying. out. Let's maybe weave our way out of this conversation. Well, I, I'm just in. saying we're all in agreement. <laughs> all, right. Yeah. all right. Okay. So I'm, I'm at um, like 18.04. I will watch Areola now. I was I'm looking at, at 18 Isabel. minutes. So wait 14, wait okay. four seconds until you got it. Play. And it's, I know it's not all of us, but it's a little no. bit of us, and that's something, you know. I always Watch want Ariola. to feel <gasps> safe and comfortable in my home. I want any of the kids to feel safe Excuse and comfortable. Excuse you? That Excuse you. just pushed the birthday girl. She, she like hip butted. Checked her. Hey, careful with um. your hip there. Check it, daddy. <laughs> I don't want you breaking anything. Oh, I <laughs> got <loving> it. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Everyone calm down. <laughs> calm down. Hey, can you close my door, Googs? No. It's a family effort. <laughs> Thanks. So he loves my hat. It's like my mom. My, See? my mom is dressed See, that's, at a uh, restaurant. That's... <laughs> Yeah, no. See, that's how you raise your kids. So they go, I like your hat, mom. And then they like go and they like laugh about you to their other siblings. You don't right. raise a monster that's hip. And Ariel almost like looked at the camera. Like she's like, oh, this is going to be funny. Boom, boom. <laughs> and Truly's God. like, fine. Yeah. Where do you want me to go? She's like, I'll God, go fine. there. Like, Just what? Leave me Stop. Like, that's the side with my kidneys. Can you take it easy? Yeah, I almost lost I them once before. Jeez. I'm living on one kidney right now because 
my dad yeah. loves you more than me. And you weren't even born yet. Yeah. Um, I'm at 18 minutes and 11 seconds. And she seems like she's having a good time. Isabel seems like she's enjoying herself too. Oh well, yeah. Right I, I, I could tell yeah, Isabel looks like she was having a blast. Oh yeah. <laughs> Usually when I'm having a blast, I stand like this. Uh-huh. And then I just go like, and I, and I look at the clock like, she's so stressed she's not even mm -hmm. pounding there's no cantaloupe within reaching distance of her they don't know her needs no fruit no i need fruit. melon i need bits. a melon please somebody yep. put a melon in Just front of me bacon bits and a french burrito that's it french tortilla tortilla when christina was pregnant with truly uh she was born right after that uh cody and i got married i hate you yeah, we remember, so Rob. We all we remember the experience where truly net doesn't have any memories without me and my kids. Yeah. How ominous was that? Truly doesn't have any memories without me and my kids. Yeah. Well, she's never had any terrifying. memories like really of them either. The ones that she does have are all horrible memories because her daddy what? was always with you. And uh, the kidney dialysis probably knocked out a lot of memories of the first couple of yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. But that potty Losing party that. was lit. The pee pee poo poo potty party. That was a party not to be missed. I'm like so giddy Cody, right now. Cody, Cody healed her. <laughs> he just said, we're going to have a pee pee poo poo party. And that's it. God, he, he healed her kidney to fill with children. God, but also Moses, because I'm also kind of Jewish. But God. <laughs> I guess that makes me the devil. Ah. Jesus, I need to make a chart where it's like Catholic God, Jesus, okay. but then like Jew. Oh, Cody's Jew God. Like, Cody's where? God. Because because that doesn't. You know. Cody's God is up here. I'll make a chart. I'll make a chart for the end of your Christine's God down there. Oh, she's, she's way down. She's the devil. All I guess that makes me the devil. Ah! Yep. That's right. Yeah. I'm in hell. I'm in hell. You shouldn't joke about that. <laughs> Robin is, really is Angela. Yeah. No. Jan thinks Hunter is very talented. <laughs> well, they wouldn't be my first. Okay. All right. Here we go. I mean, I, I could have kept going there for another Yeah, minute. smash that like <laughs> if you want us to stop with the office references. And that's right. kind of cool. 1845 is just my time stamp. Sweet. Yeah. Ew. What? Oh, that was weird. Who's coughing? She lives in North Carolina with Maddie and Caleb. She has a job. And she's just living for her. Every we're going to have blessing and we're going to there's one thing that I'm constantly concerned about, which is sort of this gloomy cloud hanging over us most of the time, is after the divorce and stuff like that, there seems to be a little bit of a, it's a nuance, it's a it's a little undertone of sort of a strain. Like, do I trust? Can I trust? From my kids. Ooh, um, Savannah's got some nachos. I was just... Okay, Jody. <laughs> what? You were gone all of last week at your fucking conference, and I was like, I feel like I'm not connected to Jody. As you were saying those words, I was thinking, that bitch has knockers. <laughs> and you said it. <laughs> we're still connected. You thought you used the word knockers too? No, in my head, I was like, oh, bitch has knockers. That was my <laughs> thought. And then you're like, wow, so bit. And then you said it eloquently. Yeah, so that has some very nice knockers on her. <laughs> she does. Good for her. She does. Get it. Yeah. Or, or get a breast reduction. Yeah, do whatever you want to do with your own body. That's right. As, as long as you can. No. Seems to be uncomfortable a lot of the times. And now we're going to have a piece because we only brought six. My relationship with my dad has never been like 100% solid. And so with a divorce right now, everything's rocky because nobody knows what to do in a divorce. And then in a divorce with a polygamous family, even more so, nobody knows what to do. God, she's so beautiful. There's a lot of pain oh, no. from divorce Stunning. and the separation of family. And as a result, there's just what seems to be a mild strain. 
my phone calls. Mild? I think we're just, we're just. There seems to be a mild strain. Strain. Yeah. Strain. Just a little bit. That 14 of your children what? hate you. Oh, that's a nice he one. He looks like, you know, he looks like the, um, the scary painting thing that comes to life in Ghostbusters. Looks like oh, that, like, uh, Zool? That Zool? Yeah. Doesn't yeah. he? There scary. is no Dana, only Zool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Vagina Daddy's a... Wasn't a, expecting to do a that. A Ghostbusters head. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I had that locked and loaded for the past uh, 38 oh years. <laughs> also sing through some stuff. Yeah, yeah. For the goals that I had in this my life, this is the life, saddest party ever. Very, very disappointing. My goal from the beginning was that my family would be under one roof. So, and here we go. There's the house. It's a big house. It's a big house. I don't know. I wonder if some of the failures in plural marriage were my part in. See, I like these these um, flashbacks too because we haven't gotten to this yet, and I'm excited mm -hmm. to recap that episode. It's gonna be like a mm -hmm. while before we do, but where Cody's like, "This is my house. It's all yep. white. Oh yeah, my area. This is the common area. There's a kitchen. Yep. It's all white. White furniture, white walls. Looks out onto Coyote Pass. Mm -hmm. Well, and then Robin has the biggest house. Remember. Well, of she course, has the biggest, she has the most, the most kids, the most tender age kids. Right. Right. God, Expecting too much from the family with this one family idea. We might have been more successful had we been in different homes with the kids kind of growing up like they were cousins. We wrote this idea for ourselves. We even went through a family commitment celebration where we wrote our mission statement. Oh, yeah. We remember. So being here. I'm, uh, um, I'm touched. We All right, we're about to recap the um, commitment ceremony. Okay, I'm going to address this. Yes, we fucked up. Zool is Ghostbusters. Vigo is Ghostbusters too. <laughs> we're very sorry. I don't we know the difference. I just know he looks scary. Oh, it was blowing up in there. Vigo, was... Vigo, 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 Vigo. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, Rick Moranis. Rick Moranis is in the first movie. Is he also in the second movie? Let's not get into Ghostbusters. Yeah, let's not, let's let's not do it then. Yeah. We developed the idea of writing a family mission statement over a year and a half ago, and we went through some serious processes trying to get it right. But Remember when Kelly, family, McKelty wore the top hat? We embrace. Did you just ask me if I remember? <laughs> Did he just? When McKelty <laughs> wore the top hat. I, I like this new persona that this wig and suspenders yeah, are giving you. I feel, I feel free. <laughs> waka waka. <laughs> I think it's because I slept from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. this morning and haven't slept for two days prior. Are you channeling, um, <laughs> oh my God, what was her name? She was like the, Reba. Are you Reba? We're going to the brat. No, I feel like you're, no, you're not a Reva. No, I'm not this a Reva. A Reva. No, I'm a, yeah, I'm sober. I feel. I feel like this bitch is sober as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not smoking. Like, she's not drinking. She is drinking water. Are and... you like a L Lorraine? Are you a Lorraine? A Janet? Somebody, Janet. Somebody name this character because Nance? I'm feeling it. Nancy. Nance. I feel like a Na Nancy. No, just Nance. Nance. Don't call me Nancy. It's or Nance. like. Or like. Pookie, like she'd have a nickname that she goes mm. by. Punky. Paula, punky. not Paula. Mm, you're not a punky. Beverly. Okay, well, well, well let, 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 look, Jody, you're the one that always wants to get out of here, like ASAP. So yeah. Like, let's oh yeah. Okay. 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 Well, we're we're gonna go probably over it's three. Of abundance, Damn. affection, time, <laughs> opportunity, peace, wealth, prosperity, wisdom, and love. We teach, allow, and promote the value of making conscious and responsible choices oh. in all aspects of our lives. As sister wives and hus husband, we oh, embrace one another with a covenant of eternal nature. Our oh, body. God. I want to punch her in the boob so hard when she ever does goes, that. We covenant with 
a covenant and janelle janelle's looking at her and then janelle the second she starts robin pretends to cry janelle just goes i can't i can't with this it's hot this fabric doesn't breathe yep i look hotter than all four bitches on stage right now she but does it's it ain't breathing i got pit yeah. stains akimbo God, I just want to like kick her in the cunt whenever she starts crying. Like, give her something to cry about? about. What are you crying Ugh. about? Being the temples for our spirits are the greatest physical assets given by our oh, maker. Mary's hair. We intentionally Oof. organize fun parties, gatherings, and special events to honor and oh, celebrate God. individuals. Christine Strass. We've just shredded that mission statement. It's just like what has happened with our family is very sad to me. It's just one of those things that's happened. I I have to move on. But there is sort of this Ooh. strange place that I'm in where it feels odd to sort of been. I'm trying to redefine my life. So are you going to church with Maddie and Hannah? Of course. So so they they have this sterile ass party, and Robin's like, "Well, the head of the household sitting down finally. Here's yep. my topic of conversation: Are you going to church with Caleb and Maddie? Because oh. she's cool." Bring out the fucking noisemakers here. Uh, there are fireworks in the backyard too. This is a fucking party. Are so this is a baked potato bar. I'm seeing date. <laughs> oh no! With what looks like a full glass of orange juice with a no, baked that looks potato. like passion fruit juice or like almost a. I, it looks like a Thai iced tea, but I don't think they're that fancy. No. And I don't think Robin. It's a, is going it's a thicker juice. It's, a it's thick definitely juice. a thicker juice. Of course, a big potato bar. God forbid they have like a meal. Everything's oh, always a bar. For you them. know, there's like a whole catering like bus parked behind the house for once. Truly, and Isabel leave. Oh, they're getting yeah, you know, they're getting takeout delivered. Yeah, like there's like like, a full, like once they leave, we'll have our house. They're getting their baby back, baby back, baby back. Yep. I want my chili's <laughs> baby back with barbecue sauce. Okay. Once. And I like said, I just haven't gotten a chance to again. Try to watch. You know, if I was in Utah, I'd almost be too embarrassed to show my head at church because of the just the struggles my family has had. Uh, lots of shame. So we we don't have a church here in Flagstaff either. We haven't established any connection religiously in Flagstaff. When you have your purity and you give it to your husband and your wife when you're married, then you have a lot of happiness and a lot of blessings. I've always been a man of faith. God, you're so stupid, I Robin. I've struggled for a long time because of, I'm a polygamist. I'm not a fit in my old religion. He looks the most like Garrison, I think. Yes, I can see totally see Gary. He looks exactly You're right. Exactly like Garrison. And maybe that's why Garrison hates him the most out of all of the kids. <sighs> and we're in, let me use a term, no pun intended, we're in limbo. Well, well, you don't have me. to say from. Oh. As a steward of the Almighty God, in the name of the Eternal Messiah, I pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Look how turned out nice. she is. She's so eclectic with her now, arm bracelet. On the Chain Mom episode I did last week with Nick, Nick Kachana from the Good Vanilla mm -hmm. Pod and Best Supporting Podcast, um, he was a guest, and we, he just officiated a wedding like last week. And it randomly came up. We were doing Tyler and Caitlin's wedding episode. And I'm like, yeah, so the official, he's like, yeah, I just officiated her wedding last week. I'm like, oh, you, you did. You oh, did. I want to yeah. get married just to have Nick officiate. Right? Um, And then he, are you going to ask oh. me to sing at your wedding? Well, okay, let's, in like, a I mean, it's hypothetical a point, dream but... world, whatever wedding. Yeah, right. Of course. Okay, of I'm course. singing at your wedding. And um, you know what song you're going to sing? Well, of course, I let me play would give heart. everything. Oh. I N not that. Um, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh no, you're going to sing <laughs> that one night. One she night, took me by the hand, made me a man. That one night, one night, uh -huh. you made everything 
everything all right. And then Andy goes, ah, which is such a, exactly what me, I would do in that situation. Mm-hmm. I would hear the harmony. I'd be like, well, I feel like there's the harmony. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, yeah. but Nick was like, yeah, I have, uh, uh, he's like, yeah, a tip was given to me as the officiant that once they kiss, step out of the way. And I was like, well, funnily uh, enough, when Cody officiated Madison and Caleb's wedding, he decided to stay in the picture and yep. like have a boner. Oh, you while kiss her. They're kissing. You kiss her real you good. Kiss her You're real hard. hard. Yeah. Yep. Make sure she feels it. Yep. Okay. I'm at 23 minutes, eight seconds. Oh, um, <sighs> I do not know what happened. But during the breakup with Christine, um, Maddie stopped reaching out to me. Weird. <gasps> yes. COVID or I have no idea what was going on, but she. You have no idea what was going well, on. Maybe they just it- threw COVID in there. Yeah, no, I haven't heard from her with the breakup and COVID. And Wait, then- but, but maybe like, give me five more examples of what you might think it would be. Any of yeah. those. Any. Co- it was any COVID. Thing? It was definitely COVID. Was That's COVID. the reason why. Weird. General Electric Company. General Electric Company. That's what you're gonna sing. Yep. Um. <sighs> love you. But I mean, I see, you. I like Maddie now, yeah. and also Caleb too. Yeah. Caleb's like, I'm fine with you breaking. Oh time. my god, he's gonna be praying for this day. <laughs> yep. It's like, did you see how he cried when we said goodbye? He didn't cry She's when like, he almost really his daughter. Yeah, I'm really on the outs. I'm really on the outs with my dad. I don't know if I want to talk to him anymore. He's like, like done. Great. Yeah, do, yeah, great. Do, yeah. I already, ha- I already have these burner phones for us so that we can go off the grid completely. That's a great, great idea. Yep. <laughs> right. I'm at twenty three twenty five. She quit reaching out to me. She because of his- quit reaching out to me. Right. But once again, you are the parent. Aren't you the You dad? reach out to your children. It is not the kid's job to maintain the relationship. Yes. You chose to be a parent. It's up to you. I do think no. that once once the child is an adult, there is a little bit more responsibility on the child. But like, there's still yeah, way more on if you. If they don't call, you just don't go like, oh, well, they stopped reaching out. So I just don't. I, I, oh, I, I don't know them. what happened. Well, yeah. pick up the phone and call her then. Or text. You know, the biggest hurt about this is because he and Caleb are obviously Caleb. not best friends bra. anymore. Was, I was, yeah. was going to wrestle, gonna wrestle like with bra. Never, I was going to wrestle yep. him so tender. <laughs> I was gonna Smell be t- his balding head. Yep. I was going to come right in on that. Oh, well, five on two. Take a picture of it. Yep. I'm at uh, tw- 2330. Behavior lately. She's like, I don't I don't know what to do with him. I don't know who this guy is. So she has to consider her children. She has to consider the stability of what they see or perceive as a grandfather. There's a lot Ooh. of things at play here. It's not just Maddie not calling him. Yep. Oh, God. Go. Oh, God. That was so depressing. That was really depressing. And Robin immediately stands up to like take the cake away to go cut it. Like, oh God, the the, the candles are still hot, Cody. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna rewatch this scene. Okay. Because okay, so we're at 2355. I'm just gonna go back 10 seconds so that we're at 2345. Now we're gonna rewatch this. Okay. Areola is sitting right at the cake. Like truly is at the head of the table with the cake. Okay. Areola is right next, like at the next spot. Okay. I feel like they must have bribed her with like, okay, we're going to give you a castle if you can just sit there and let Truly blow out the candles. So Ariola does, okay? We're going to watch that happen. She's going to sit there quietly, hands under her butt, lets her blow out the candles. The second those candles are out, like it's just like- really. She's right okay, in there. Okay, and then, Robin, then the whole rest of it is Robin swatting truly away from uh, 
areola away from Truly's camp. So Ooh, just okay. keep your eye on Truly. Don't worry about okay. anything else that's going on. I'm at 23.45. Let's go. Honey, not calling him. I know it. No. So you blow out. Oh! My kids have really missed their siblings. Yeah. Go away, Ariola. And there seems to be this weird Ooh. wall. And Robin is, Robin's like, don't. She was listening me in front of the cameras. She did a. How about now, like here's your what, kid just doesn't do that because you've taught them years before manners. Or, she's like yeah, nine. Also, she's nine. 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 How about how about pick up social nuances? Have you ever seen in your life, Ariola, anyone grab at a birthday cake ever? Besides like a baby who's one? Go away. Now, this is what I love about Take your this, oldest though. sister with you. Yeah. People all over like, you know, Reddit and shit. You know, this is my, you know, this is my job. I look up all this shit at mm -hmm. six o'clock in the morning. Everyone's pissed off because, um, you know, uh, Ariola sucks and um, this is fucked up because uh, the, the why is the crew not there? And Robin has control over all of this footage and she's only going to submit what like needs to be submitted. Look, they clearly filmed, what, two and a half hours worth of footage here. Mm -hmm. TLC kept in. Ariola trying to yep. like wrestle truly to the ground. Ariola butt checking truly out of the way. Ariola uh -huh. trying to smash her hand in the cake. Yep. Chelsea's like, no, Robin, whatever you give us, we're going to yeah. weed out all of the moments where your kid is the biggest asshole on the planet. Yep. Now people are pointing out that she's going to be turning eight now. So listen, even if she was seven or six in this video, it's still the same. My kids would no. never have done she that. She could say full sentences. Especially be because Robin has said, oh, uh, her tender age children barely even know their names. They don't even know them. That's even more reason that your annoying, bratty, little shitty kid needs to get her fingers off of someone else's cake. Yeah. She barely knows truly. Back off. Yeah. Back off. It's not about you. And also you could say, go to your room. If you are not going to behave well, well Jody, she's too go tender. to your room. No, this is where you say you're embarrassing yourself. I know you can behave better than this. You're that's a that's yourself. a good line, Jody. I think I say that to like not that's a, a lot, really good like, line. If your kids are, that, like that's what you need to say. Like you, I don't you want you to behave because that. I want you to. But like I know you don't want people thinking of you this way because that's not who you are. But when you yeah. act like that, you should be embarrassed of your behavior. Of course, I like that. You know, I mean, it's just like because I'm never going to have to. I'm never going to need to shame my children or anything like that. But I'm just no, saying, like, behaving that specifically. I'm not talking about all the time. I'm not, like, a horrible parent. But, like, no, they need to learn that I that remember. behavior is embarrassing. As yeah. you get older, people will look at you a certain way. And you don't want to be that person that they're looking at. Like, duh, God, say something. Look, I know we've been really bad in the chat, guys. And we haven't been putting up comments. But this is a big episode. It's a Halloween episode. So, sorry. Next week, we'll probably be more engaged but meg says i would be mortified if my mortified if yep. my five-year-old acted like her five mm -hmm. so no don't say oh she's seven she's eight i don't give a fuck yep. she yeah everyone like, way too old yep. Like, yep i'm not a parent yeah. but i have I, I taught for many years and that's not Oh my God. Yes. Like, thank this... you. Noel. you have to teach your, your kids social norms. It is what yeah. it is. You don't pick your nose. You don't push people over. You don't put your hands on their food. You don't pull on them and drag them down when they're walking. You don't do those things just because yeah. it makes you happy. Doesn't make other people happy. And it's not cute. It's not precocious. It's annoying. Okay. So, but also, so we're getting to the point in production now, like as we're watching, we're we're um, flirting with the uh, timeline where Cody and Robin are finally going to discover how much America or the viewing Ooh. audience hates them. So we're kind of yep. dabbling in that right now. So I think we're seeing a lot of crowd control 
and like uh trying to like control the narrative stuff. yeah but they don't realize how bad it's going to get yeah yeah, yeah. yep god okay. your comments are all amazing okay i can't wait to reread these all right, i'm at 2406 I can't penetrate, and Ooh. we can't quite figure out why it's there. Yeah. I can't figure it out. It looks to me, it feels to me like broken family. I can't, I can't fix it. My own optimism or something wants me to just say, well, it's meant Optimism. Cody thinks that his optimism is is what's- Last half name. full. All the time. <laughs> I don't know. We can handle my positive, just... positive energy. Oh, yeah. No one, no one understands them. You, yeah. you know, these people that are here together can work out the relationship. It's time, and they can work out the relationship with me, and it's complicated. The relationship doesn't end in my family, but something about it has ended, and it's an ending. And that's sort of sad. Oh, okay. Okay. So yes. I sent this clip to Nick. Here's Janelle pulling a classic Amanda special. We're at 2506. Oh. As long as you're holding something, mm. you're doing something. Okay. As long Got as you're it. holding something, you're doing something. Remember that. Mm. 2506. Hey. Hello. Oh, hey. Okay. Awesome. Because I want to plant awesome. these potato or tomatoes today. Are you? Can you lift it after it's full? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to bring the rest in. I went ahead and got big plants. So it's just Gabe fully doing her entire gardening for her. <laughs> pouring like this like 56 thing of soil. I'm just gonna bring one thing like, at a time. Oh, oh, thank, oh, thank you, Gabe. Yeah. Well, I'll go grab the other tomatoes. I'm holding yeah. a plant, so I am doing something. Looks okay. great. Yeah, yeah, mm. that's great. So we're like a week late. For my birthday this year, the boys and all my kids contributed to building these planter boxes for me in Garrison's yard. And ta-da! Because you know I love basil. Check it out. Well, it's a big one. It's multiple. Nice. It should keep us in basil all summer. I live in an apartment now. Right. I love gardening. It's just a sanity thing for me. So they built me a little space to garden. So I'm going to be cute. putting just a few. I grew basil this year and that thing grows like a weed. Like you, yeah. you can like, you, gotta you use can let it. that thing basically die and it will still grow like a fucking weed. So Janelle's like, yeah. oh, look at all this. Look what I've done. I'm not she have to learn how to freeze them. So I think this will be enough zucchini and tomatoes for just us and then definitely have zucchini and tomatoes for us maybe can you, even you can, for can you pull neighbors. that at all pull this I'll, get the clip, I'll get the clippers i can't pull it out i don't think can you at least chop it off yeah i can cut it down here at the root okay so a month ago Cody and i went out for my birthday i was not called i didn't have anything going on that evening i wasn't expecting reconciliation i didn't want it so we had we went out we had a good time but we haven't really gone out since then i want it to be easy tonight Oh, you don't want to talk about anything? No. You want to be... Let's just be easy. We're not seeking it out. I'm not hoping he's going to call me. I don't think he even really thinks about me very much, to be honest with you. He's got, his, he's got a whole life going on over at Robin's house. You know, I just think it's nothing. It's just, it's, it's, I mean, we're friendly when we have to be, but there's no connection, really. So hmm. I got two tomatoes and three zucchini. Since it's going to be no she's Even with coming. just the, these two, we're going to have more tomatoes than we need. And because Gwen told me she's not coming, right? Yeah, Gwen's not moving in. Um, I get it. It might have been like a lot for her to live with her brothers. <laughs> yeah, plus she never had to live with me and Garrison either. She always only had to deal with Peyton. Believe it or not, Gabriel Plus that old-timey gardener. gardener that's out there. Who? He looks like he should be in colonial times. I know. Well, no, really I feel does. like, he, like I feel like he looks like he He's should be Franklin. in like uh, Diagon Alley. What's that? Diagon Alley from Harry Potter, like where he gets his wand. Diagon Alley. Okay, you're not a Harry. Potter I don't do yet. Harry Potter, babe. No, I only know the first book and the first movie. It's the best I movie to watch when you're stoned. 
doing it. I think I'm going to watch that tonight, actually. I planted oh. um, for a couple of years, and Gabriel was always my one who was out there helping me weed and look for bugs and try to problem solve the garden. So he loves it. He's like my gardening kid. You guys haven't seen, I don't think you guys have seen your dad for a while, right? Nope. Have you heard from him? Nope. Nope. No, my kids have not talked to their dad. They generally well, ignore him um, because they're like, what's the point of having a conversation with him? I remember him saying something along the lines of he only cares about his minor children or something like that. So what I said to Gabriel, once you were out of my, like graduated from high school, my obligation to you shifts. It's an obligation. That's not what you said, babe. Respect. If the relationship. Yeah, well, because he's trying now. It, this like he did this interview recently, yep. so he's yep. trying to now redo this to uh -huh. like. Well, how can I make this work where I can still have Aurora and Brianna and Dayton living with me? So oh, once, it's gonna shift. Once they're eighteen, it sure. shifts to loyalty. Yep. When what he actually said was, "They're adults." Bye bye. Bye bye. That's what he said. That's what there you said. You didn't say it shifts. You said bye bye. Meanwhile, Aurora is driving like an Escalade. Yep. 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 Oh, because she's so scared. Oh, she's oh, Cordy. Her boyfriend. She's talking to a boy. We talk mm. about a, a science and movies and space. Like stars. I like Orion's dumb, belt. Dumb. The Big Dipper, Cordy. All right. It goes back, and it's like, go get your own place. We're all grown adults that don't need a father figure anymore. You don't belong in my home if you can't respect me. Remember, it's my home. It's not yours. I think Cody is getting exactly what he puts into the relationship. Boom. You know what? I've yep. got a second kind of potting soil. Let's try the other tomato in it and see if it makes a difference. As <gasps> oh, Janelle's like... Listen, I bought another potting soil, so let's try the other one. In the, meaning, mm -hmm. why don't you go yep. to my car, get that potting soil, do yep. it, and I'll stand here and kind of look busy. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to need Gabe to cut his hair or pull it back in a ponytail he here. He and then he this donates is... it. He, he, that's okay. why he's growing well, his hair out, though. Well, no, like right Jill. in this moment, he needs to pull it back. Because well, the way it's does Flipping all Who around, does, I can't. I don't even sleep with my hair down because, like, it gets in my oh, face and it's it, yeah, no, it, the neck and things. Yeah, Ugh. see, that's why you need to cut. You get yourself a sensible haircut, like the one you have right now. Really it really does. Suit People you. are liking it. It really does. I always, suit you. I always thought that my face was too round and fat and ugly and hideous no. that like I could never sport something like this. But sure, no. why not? I think it's great, Nate. What have I got to lose? Yeah. All right, uh, let's go into uh, 2818. Experiment. Since this garden's kind of a new concept for us in this little urban space. Okay. So, you know, I haven't really spoken to Robin or Mary since that conversation on Robin's porch about a year ago. I've got 18 months being persecuted by my own family. This is the scene where Cody's wearing those really tight jeans. So trying to protect <laughs> them. That's not yeah. Me. Yeah. My heart is broken. <laughs> Christine uh, left because of this. I just, I just survived a really, really I dark place. That. You don't give a though. Look at you. Dismissing it. Okay. Look at you. you look at you. you. When you're in pain, I try to Press. understand you. Cody. Can we please keep talking, Janelle, please? Just, Cody, can we just keep talking? Like, Janelle, if you can just come back. Cody, can, if you can just, you know, call, Janelle, yeah. can you just, you, know, you can just turn around, Janelle. God, Robin. She's the Brown family counselor. She's so good at this, mm. you know? Yeah, she's really This good. is a really bad idea for you to walk off on oh, this one. They, they haven't sought me out. They haven't sought me out. Robin and I never really had, we could be, we were great team players. We could work together for the good of the family, but I never connected with her on a friend level. She's 10 years younger Ooh, than that's I. That's a rough picture. That's for younger than mine. She's stupid and I'm not stupid. Yep. yep. <laughs> She's a complete idiot. I've worked. She doesn't do anything. Yeah. I hate her. And uh, yeah. <laughs> we just right. didn't even like the I same make money, or, she spends uh, it. Uh, we could be great team players for the sake of the family. Mary and I have always had personality differences, and that's okay. But I don't need to really seek her out 
now. Yep. Fair enough. Sort of a joke about how many sister wives is it too? Here's Janelle doing uh, another flashback of an Amanda special where she's like, oh. <laughs> I can't figure out how to put this tree in. Christine, can you just, you just do it. You're better. Yeah, Amanda, you're so good um, at it. You're, you're just so good at like decorating and putting things together that, and like cooking. It's that, uh, <laughs> it's that microwave episode of the office where Pam like wants someone to clean the microwave and Ryan's like, I would just make it. I would just make it worse. Yeah, I would just make it worse. Like, yeah. Why would wiping it down make it worse though? And he's like, I, 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 I would find a way. I promise. Just <laughs> Hey, do you see how there's that little notch? Yeah, and there's a little thing. Look, I still have family with Christine. We still see each other. The kids are interacting. It feels very normal when we're together. It feels like old times without all the periphery drama. Yeah, I mean, right now, I feel like that's my family. I feel like that's where I find family. You know, yeah, I don't know. There's something very peaceful for me about gardening. You put the, the plants in. You water them. They grow. Okay, well, oh, this Janelle. will be our experiment. Classic to know. For this zucchini, I don't know, something about being there with the living plant, the living things, just kind of brings my stress level down like 15 notches or something, you know? Mm. Oh, I know, point, I would really like to put some greenhouses on the go. property and actually run more of a small-scale operation. <laughs> That's kind of my second okay, generation girl. of my life or the second <laughs> part of my life or something. I, I would love to be engaged full-time in the growing of plants. Yeah, I mean, at this point... I'll I would really love to be engaged full-time yeah. in the growing of plants. That Put that on a shirt. <laughs> That's so true. Listen, Janelle, Janelle is, I, I'm feeling her. I'm feeling her. Because I'm just yeah. getting crickets. Or I'm getting the runaround when I still ask about it. Well, we're going to get the property paid off. I mean, Janelle yes. sits and pesters me about it all the time. She's Janelle Pester. sits and pesters. That, that, oh, really? Oh, Cody? I do. That word it's isn't allowed in our house, Cody. Going I back pester. to the giant Hmm. Pester. I'm sorry. Did I pester you with my thoughts and feelings? Oh, was I pestering you with, you know, paychecks and money and, oh. Uh, well, did I pester you with my, uh, like, one and a half bedroom apartment condo that uh, meant while yeah. you and Robin live on a mansion on the hill? Well, she did pester him because she didn't have that, uh, that night table that was tall enough for him. Can't do that. Well, he likes to read, Jody. He's a reader. He's a scholar. If you will, thirty I'm minutes. I really want to wear this every week. Okay, sorry. Asking, 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 pestering, but <laughs> not really helping. I mean, the clock is ticking. The loan comes due in a year. I hope they're not stupid enough to let it slip away after I'll be put so much money. You know, Robin, I still intend to build there. Anything is possible. Oh, you do. I don't recognize these people who used to be I used to be a family with, as far as their priorities and thought processes. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm going ahead. I'm at 31 minutes, 28 seconds, and we are in Salt Lake City, Utah, bitches. Oh, I forgot about this segment. So now we're going to watch Truly Learn to Ride a Bicycle. Oh, she still doesn't know. Okay. Got it. Right. So Let's, we're gonna are go we, so we're going to compare from the first time. Okay. Right. Now, I would argue that probably it's better to teach your kid when you're younger because the fall to the ground is much less traumatic when you're little because okay. you're right there. But, yeah, no, okay. let's go ahead and learn as an 11-year-old uh, okay. or 12-year-old because oh. Cody traumatized you so much the first time mm, that you refused yeah. to even touch a bike until this age. That's what I heard. It's just been a busy week. McKelty told us earlier that she's pregnant with twins. Truly had a birthday party in Flagstaff. For her birthday, she asked me to give her a bike. So she's ready to learn how to ride a bike now. It's a big deal. Oh, I'm, do I need to wear a helmet? Mine, 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 do I need to wear a helmet to teach her? Hey, you don't need to, no, you don't need to ride a helmet to teach her how to ride a bike. Sure about just, that? Okay, look. Truly still does not know how to ride a bike. She had a disastrous first attempt with Cody, and it was terrible. I heard all about it. I, do you want to practice on souls instead? No! No, I don't want to do this! There's no crying in baseball, sweetheart. Uh, Cody? Now, we haven't gotten to this episode yet, but this episode yet. 
Don't say there's no crying in baseball, sweetie. Too truly. She doesn't get the reference. She doesn't yeah. get that you're referencing Tom Hanks in a league of their own. It just sounds like you're saying random words. Yeah. But definitely scream in my face. Um, I, I, I would love to see Ariola and how often she cries. Because I bet you it's a hell of a lot more than, uh, than truly. He's and I'm an sure awful... Cody was a lot more patient with Ariola too. Well, she's his sweetie. Oh, tender. This isn't baseball. This is my... this is bike riding. It's easier than baseball. I really struggled with truly. She wasn't what an ass. Ass. to do the experience. She didn't really want to do it. And I'm trying to push her. You know, it's like sometimes you gotta push a child as a parent. Listen, I love her, and that wasn't our favorite experience together. I'm gonna cry. Yeah, but you have to do like good things too. And that should be a good experience. Like balance it out. You know, like. Because he tried it once. It went badly. Yeah. And then it was over. That's how Cody does it. Right. Stuff. Right. Right. Yep. Are you not excited to ride a bike? No. Why? Because I wish that I learned when I was five. You're fine. Things happen sometimes. Just recently, yep. I talked to her about riding a bike again. So I'm like, you're 12. I think that you riding a bike would be, you know, a good thing. And she is ready to try and ride a bike again. Okay, well, give me my eyeballs. We just need you to move forward using the um, pedals forward. Now my knees backwards. Just sounds super scary having to balance on two wheels. She's like, that doesn't sound natural. I'm too short for this. You're not. I think it'll take five days to learn how to ride a bike. Most likely more. Uh, I don't know if you can tell here, but they have actually finally gotten the hint and bought her lens. Are, are, wait, are these her transition lenses? They're her transitions. Yep. Oh, well, they're fully She's clear. just inside. Well, she's okay. inside. Yeah, but I feel like usually when she's inside, they're still kind of half dark. Well, I, I still see a, a tint. Okay. But yeah, I guess you're right. Damn it. I thought they maybe got the hint and like got her like, you know, inside, outside yeah. glasses. Mm -hmm. Two separate. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be realistic here. Most likely more. <laughs> We're not letting go. You're not letting right, go. Okay. Nicely done. You're, You're turning out. You're turning out. Turning out. Turning out. Turning out. Truly has an amazing support system here in Utah. Oh. It's everything that I wanted for her to have. She's surrounded with people that just love her and love spending oh. time with her all the time. It's everything that I hope to give her is what I've been able to give her, which is amazing. We're not letting go today. That's for okay, another day. Okay, if you're not ready, we won't let go today. Fine. <laughs> I know that. I know that. Her falling off a bike is going to happen. There's no way to get around this. Stop. Ah. Put your foot down. Holy. Put your foot down. I, that's what I do. Peyton has no fucking clue what he's doing. Like, Peyton gets him. Yeah. You're not yeah. doing anything. Stop. I'm right here. She's fine. And this is not me forcing her. This is me backing her up. Come on. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't think. Just like this. This is what I want you to do. No, I'm not going to use no, the pedal. Ah! Like this. Once Truly says she's done, then I'm going to let her be done. I want you to stand on your feet, sit down, and walk. Yeah, I'm still yeah, on She's got to get a feel for the balance. Yeah, great. It's okay, I'm not going to force her beyond her comfort. That, that, that was already done. Then they're done that. We're not going to do that today. No, I need to be taller. Let's wait until I'm taller to ride this. I was going to say, that's kind of a big bike. It is. It's not. It's not like she's mountain biking. You don't need to be like super tall against the. They can just lower the seat. Like, I think it is all the way down. I'm looking at it. I think yeah. it's just a touch too big. Maybe it's too big. Honestly, I would be like, let's put uh, training wheels on this thing until she's ready. Doesn't it seem give like her you just, the comfort? I feel like you can just like, like walk and then like put your legs back. And then, like, feel like the that's why they motion. that's what they do with like little kids' bikes now from like little, like, toddler age. They have like little I mean, I have no bikes that how. they that grow with them because that is the idea is that you have to learn how to balance. There is like a hilarious yep. home video of me learning to ride a bike, and I smash face first into the ground and I throw oh, a huge yeah. fit. And my parents are both pissing themselves, laughing at me. I'm yeah. like, stop laughing at me. <laughs> I, I love you in this costume. You gotta wear it every year. We only have to wait one more year and then I'll be taller. 
Guys, we only have to wait one more year and then I'm tall. Really yeah, believe then you'll be 13. Believe in yeah, yourself. you technically don't really one need to learn to ride a bike. Yeah. Okay. Charlie needs less voices. Okay. He just needs to do it. Yeah. That is literally the nicest way I've ever heard anybody say shut up. <laughs> None of us doubt Mitch. When Mitch opens his mouth, we all respect what Mitch has to say. Because Mitch doesn't talk that much. You got to pedal slower. You're speeding it up. Okay. I'm going to disagree with him there. You actually need to pedal faster. Yeah. You get that forward motion. Paige didn't learn how to ride her bike till she was maybe like nine-ish, maybe. She was the same thing. It took her a while. And it was like, it was like the thing. It was like, it goes against your natural instinct mm -hmm. to slow down. You have to yeah. move faster. But it's yeah. better to learn when you're younger. It is scary, it's so though. It's scary. Closer to the ground. That's the only thing yeah. I'm thinking about. Yeah. When you're hey when you're, daddy, have you ridden a bike with that mustache? Platinum wants to know. Oh, free mustache rides. Oh, gross. Yeah. Okay. I used to have a t-shirt that said free mustache rides, and I wore Amanda. it like, in classes. Amanda. It was Brad's shirt, and I think I just took it and I didn't really get what it meant. And I was like wearing it all over campus. Amanda. And that's pretty. That's pretty How cool. Could you? Oh, dang it. Dang it. Okay, so let's just have a real conversation with me for just a minute. You, I can tell you, you progressed so much. We saw it, and you progressed tons. You can, yeah. you did great. Thanks, Mom. That was a great effort, love. I loved it. Oh, she was like, yeah, okay. Thanks, thanks, Mom. Thanks. Okay, bye. Well, I think it was like sincere. <laughs> It's no, so it was, but it was very like, okay, mom, yes, yeah. thank you. Mitch's help. Yeah. It was good. Was Thanks, it? Mitch. Thanks, Aww. Mitch. Yeah, it was good. To be completely honest, I really thought that she would ride a bike today. As you think walking back and forth, like when Mitch was walking with you back and forth and you got you got, like, got yeah. acclimated to the bike, did that help? Yeah. Awesome. What do you think we Aww. could do to work on like just more next time we do this? What do you think would be the best thing we could do? I don't want to go too far on the on the road because it slopes down oh okay. and i don't want to fall sure sure i hope i don't fall well everyone falls it, it happens everyone falls and then they'll have to ride a bike you just get up again that's a good idea that's a good bike. mom moment you know, it's, yeah and it's just more about having that support anyway people that get her and understand her she's got that hair let's go we're done thanks everyone okay oh, let's go good, job, good job that was awesome. good job yes Oh, I am at 3711, and this is just the last Mary segment. We'll just let it play straight through, basically. Okay. Unless you have something like Got you want to say, but it's just depressing. And it's just Mary being like, I think Cody's not in love with me anymore. Whew. So, not too long ago was mine and Cody's 32nd anniversary. And Holy so shit. He did pick me up, and we went to dinner. He actually said to me, if you can I believe, I have no desire, Mary, to have a relationship with you. Somebody in our comments last night during like the live chat, I forget who, I think it was Pam Adams. And I put that in my head because it sounds like Sam Adams or some, but if it was her or not, somebody wrote, I really appreciate this flashback to 15 minutes earlier in the episode. <laughs> Which is what we're watching. She just said that in this yeah, episode. Yeah, she did. A flashback to it. Yeah. Early oh in our marriage, I had a lot of doubt. Ooh. Like, are you always Muscle. going to love me kind of emotions? You know what I mean? And he used to be very, very good at reassuring me. No, Mary, you are my person. I love you. I'm in love with you. I will love you forever. The fact that we loved each other and the fact that we made this commitment to each other i thought that that would mean something to him Hi. Hi. Oh. that's a flashback to that one single horny moment that cody and mary ever had caught on tape with uh the leon horny season. right in the back yeah <sighs> <laughs> no, I don't like it. He has said to me, I never loved you and I never felt like that about you. Like I was trying to affirm it. 
that was his words. I was just trying to affirm it. It's like, that's a bunch of bull****. Ask anybody that we know. Ask anybody who saw us in our early years, even 10 years ago. And they would know that that was just a bunch of crap that he's spewing to maybe to try to justify how he feels now. Yeah. In our, that he's wrong. Yeah. yeah. Religious background. And when he and I got married, we married with the intention of forever, literally was an eternal covenant. And I feel like that he's like, well, I, I'm just not interested. You can stick around if you want, but I'm like, but why would I want to do that eternally? Then go. He was somebody who really just... I know. Like, Mary, we feel bad for you, but we felt bad for you, you know, yeah. six years ago. That's when yeah, this you're was doing point. it to yourself at this point. Leave. At this point, we're all like, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, Mary. We get it. Yeah, it, we know. And also, um, you did cheat on him. Yeah. We're not uh mentioning that part of it, that you yeah. did this too. You cheated on him with a banana in your mouth. I mean, he no said No embouchure, right? Yeah. Uh, embouchure. There it is, yeah. Nope. Yeah. Just relax. You cheated on him. If if yeah. he did that to you or any man did that to anyone, we'd be like, he cheated on her. You, he so said you it to cheat. Suki. She was leaving my ass. Ass. That's right. And it's true. She was leaving his, if that had been a man. She told the whole family. If I just left. happened to disappear, just so you know. And Robin's I'll like, I'm happy. just eating my butternut squash soup in Alaska. Oh, yes. Food. Yep. That's right. Has changed his mind about me. Like our marriage is like done. Like you can stick around and you can come visit me and Robin and the kids if you want, but we're never going to have a marriage relationship anymore. Yeah, this so is not new. Like had a pretty yeah, good relationship. This isn't Robin even him being an asshole anymore. I love her kids. I have every intention Ew, why? to still keep a good relationship with those kids. You know, as long as she and Cody are willing to let me, you know. But I said to him, why don't we, so because our life is public, like, why don't we just be real open and honest about this and that we should discuss this and that we should, like, really be open about our story with this. And he said, no, I don't want to do that. He said, I just have so much criticism. I don't want to be open and vocal about it. Let's just keep this between us. <sighs> I'm not going to go the rest of my life hiding the fact that this is a way that our relationship is. Well, you're not hiding anything. You're we all know. You no hiding. Me, this point. You don't want to ever have a relationship with me. This is my story, too. And I have the right to tell my story. Happy anniversary to me. <laughs> Weird. Happy anniversary to me. <laughs> Bob. Bob the skeleton. <laughs> Jen. Just Jen. Hilarious. Oh, God. He's too. Basically, to me, I see two options. Continue living like I have for the past eight years or so. Tight which pants. is a yeah, freaking amazing oh. badass independent person that is mm. officially married to somebody but, but not, you're not you know, right and i can keep doing that or i can terminate it i can take the steps to move forward to be done with it he's asking you to do that right for years like mary cody and make this she's thinking cover. about it though Just now Joey. Be like mm, it's not working for us i think i'll peace out and right now i don't know what to do about it so she's still thinking about it i don't she's know she, i don't I mean, know is this season ending with mary leaving because that's not good enough for me babe oh God. all right let's go on to what next time and then we'll wrap this shit up she doesn't know what to do Hmm, Next time, think about sister wives. Welcome to my party. Oh yeah. In a way, this feels like a declaration of for this new life. I, I love being single. 
I'm dating a bit. Just fun. You know, so Cody wants to come over and see the new apartment that I've moved into. At this point, I don't really see Cody in the equation. Wow. Uh -huh. Like, it's really obvious to me I'm never going to live in it. I'm not even welcome here. That's why it's so awkward. We really haven't had any sort of marriage for like eight years. Oh God, Mary. What the future looks like. Screw him. He's not worth it. Well, it's about damn time. It's like, God. yeah, we all could have cold, told you that years ago. We get it. Well, I feel like I'm a different person than I was three and a half hours ago, but here we are. <laughs> you you look like a different person than you were three and a half hours ago. You've loosened up. I feel like you've really like, you're just like owning this character. We got like lesbian college professor, akimbo, and then a restaurant. Uh, thank you for joining us. You definitely teach some sort of like horticulture. Um, yeah. And I don't put up yeah. with shit. No, if you miss you more don't. than two classes. You're not invited to my class. But you know what? You don't give homework because the real material is being here no in audit. class yeah. and, and listening to the conversation. You miss that. There's no making up. There's no textbook. No. No. There's no textbook. Otherwise, you just go buy a textbook, and buy a diploma. Not here. No. Not in, not in Nance. It. What's going on in there? In, what's going on right in there? Not in I know Nance what's going on in here. Not here. <laughs> Class. <laughs> All right, let's wrap this shit up. <gasps> oh, my God. I love it. Oh, it's okay. Um, yeah, so you guys know what to do, right? Uh, check out Patreon. Check out uh, your new pod. Pod and the city. That's going pod to be coming in out. Pod in. I oh pod, no, it is pod and the city. And just correct me, but you were right. So egg on my face, I guess. Pod in the city with Amanda and Joan. Joan. That's right. Yeah, it'll be up mm. in a, you know soon. And uh, you know, check out Patreon and uh, check out our Facebook group. Check out our Instagram, TikTok. All of those things. These are things you can click on, and it you will help us. Do. They're all little linky poos. They're everywhere. Girls, girls, get on it and subscribe. This lesbian's about to lie in bed and watch TikTok for the next hour and then probably pass out for 15 hours because I haven't slept in two days. All right. Uh, love you guys. Yeah. Uh, You're all adults. Bye-bye. Oh, all. Well, guys, it's been a blast. Thank you so much for joining us today on our We Love to Hate Everything channel. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like or even a comment and click on that bell if you want notifications because you never know when we might pop up and go live. Please check out our other two podcasts on Patreon where we snark on even more TV, movies, and pop culture. We got Total Request Podcast, that's patreon.com slash trpod, and we love to hate TV, patreon.com slash love to hate TV. Thanks again, and we will see you next time. <laughs>